Hello, everybody, and welcome to the stream. I hope you're ready for a fun day of gaming. That's a nice twerk. I don't know what you mean. I didn't see any twerk. I saw a normal intro. Y'all are tripping. Good morning, everybody. We're back for another week. A oh, hiccup. Heck. <laughs> Immediately starting with hiccups. <laughs> One second. Ah, much better. <laughs> Tuscaru hiccups. How is that Tuscaru? You can barely hear it, and it just sounds weird. Anyway, we're back for another week. Technically, this is our second day of the week, but we still don't have a schedule. Gustav a mess for me. <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. Today, we are going to be continuing and most likely finishing Beyond Two Souls. The story that we started last time about Jody and Aiden, those strange phenomena that's like connected to her. A spirit that gives her psychic powers. No schedule? Hazuka Shi, I know. We're going to end up going through the whole week without a schedule. How much you want to bet? Looking forward to today's stream. Let's go. I'm waiting for you to play this again. Me too. I mean, it's only been a week, but still, I was interested. This one has definitely been interesting writing wise, but good direction wise, and with so much action and so much power. More surprises sounds fun. You say that. <laughs> but then it makes it hard for people to figure out when they need to show up at everything. Uh, and that's on me. Anyway. Last week felt like a dream. Yeah. We kind of like flew through this game. I can't believe we played it for five and a half hours. Anyway. <clears throat> we're going to dive straight into this game. I'm excited to continue. New remixed order. Yeah, I forgot. There's also a way to play the game like in chronological timeline rather than the timeline the game originally gave it to you but let's continue the journey we just oh we're doing something called separation now we just did the navajo storyline which went on forever now we're back in time to angsty times again oh okay i'm recording turn it up a bit more now concentrate jody tell me Not. if you feel anything in particular about any of the oh dear Try that. Do let me know if the volume's weird at all. I want to try that thing. This music box looks cool. Can you see anything, Aiden? Oh, my. oh, this is psychic power. Thank you, Dad. It's so pretty. Open it. Oh, this is about his actual daughter. I wonder what happened to her. Is that Willem Dafoe? Yeah, it is. Oh, now it's a bit loud. <laughs> One second. Oh, my God. Okay. Balancing things. Oh, this new system is so weird. Why is this window update so odd? Try this. Let me know if this is too loud or if this is just right. You okay? I'm fine. Did you see something? I mean, it was a bit personal, dude, but sure, I'll speak about it. I saw a little girl. Sounds good. Okay, cool. Thank you, guys. It was her music box. Laura. Why did he not expect... Yeah. Oh, I guess this is the first time she's manifested the psychic powers. Okay, I'll tell and she's been able to like use telekinesis and stuff, but now she's able to actually like read things. Someone named Ryan Clayton is here to see you. He says, you know what it's about? Clayton? Never trust a person named Clayton, yes. ever. I'll be back in a moment. Yeah, he seems scared as shit. <laughs> what was he shook for? Um, yeah, I think this is the first time she's been able to like, actually read things like that. Oh, he's that guy. He's the guy who's going to come in and train me. I don't remember any of the names, except for Jody and Aiden. What else could we do? I want to touch the other things. I want to know more about Willem Dafoe's daughter. Fine, we'll just get up. Boring Jody. I don't want to touch that tissue set 
I don't like that idea. Long. Okay. Do you think he'll be long? Oh, that's the question. Relax, princess. <laughs> he'll be back in a minute. Princess, you know. I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. When do we get a break? Yeah, I'm hungry too. We need to get Nathan out of here for once. Somewhere fancy. Let's have money for that. Food. And yeah, she... Mm, she's less emo, but she's still very seen kid. Now she's seen kid for sure. Hasn't Nathan been... I don't know, just... Like, acting kind of strange lately? Red and black is kind of cool. He's trying to raise money for the lab at the moment. Maybe he's worried about it. You know how he is. Mm. That's why he's bringing in military stuff. Do you know this guy who's come to see Nathan? No idea. Probably gotta to listen to their conversation, actually. Listen. I never got around to telling her I need more time. Oh, they're about no. to take her away. Professor Dawkins, she needs to come with me today. I, I have my orders. Christ, she's only a child. My assistant and I are the only family she's got. She doesn't have any idea what's out there. You should have done that part better. Look, Dawkins, I see your side of it. It's really All bad right, with socializing, dude. The orders are orders, right? You gonna bring her to me or do I have to go and get her? Oof. I go back. That's dark as shit, man. I was literally yeah. like, hey, if you don't get her for me, I'm Daddy, just gonna drag her out anyway. Can you come here, please? Sure. First, I'm gonna mess around with this thing. Nope. Okay, time to join the military. I look like I'm about 15. That's sure. Sounds like a good idea. What's what's going on, Nathan? You you look upset. Yeah. Tony, this is Ryan Clayton from the CIA. I the guess agents. it's not really the military, but same thing. The agency wants you to join their military school program at Camp Perry. Ryan's going to take care of you from now on. Oh, you have a new dad. Today. Why? I don't understand. Don't you care about me? Why me? This unit belongs to the CIA. They've been tracking your case ever since you arrived. They know what you and Aiden can do. Were they the ones who opened the dumb wormhole? I am not a child. I can make my own decisions. No one can force me to go. Hey, Johnny, I know. It's difficult, but you need to understand this is a great opportunity for you. Cynical. Oh, so that's just it? Get grumpy. You know what's best, and I'm, I'm just supposed to shut up and obey orders? Jesus, listen up, Miss Holmes. I don't give a shit about your pathetic... I didn't beat this power. guy up. All right? You can rant and rave all you want, but you'll shut your mouth and do as you're told. God damn, they think they owe her. They own her, even. Go fuck yourself. Yeah. That's it. Let's go. Come here. I done? Johnny. Jody, yes. Jody, stop immediately. Oh, she's too nice. She should have beaten him up a little bit. Remind her who's in. Ch remind him who's in charge. Do this for me. Ouch. He really went with the emotional blackmail too. Just because they need funding. I'll go get my things. <sighs> Poor girl. Only the essentials. <laughs> really, dude? You everything you need at Camp Perry. Oh, you've got balls. You could have said that in a nicer way. <laughs> <laughs> do this for me? You didn't do anything for her? Um, He kind of did. He has helped her control her powers and not freak out as much. He's actually been... Between him and, yeah, the other assistant, they really are the closest thing she has to family. I remember what her, like, 
actual foster parents did. They just abandoned her immediately. She got something from them. Some emotional development. Anything in here I want to bring? No, I guess not. Damn. She's a good artist, too. That looks drawn, at least. Yeah, she's drawn a few of these. Jeez. Oh, see, she's even got a photo of them on the desk. Poor thing. Sure, the training did make her stronger physically and mentally, but she just has to leave out of nowhere. Yeah. She gets no say in it whatsoever. They didn't, like, prepare her for it. Posters above the toilet are an odd choice. Hmm. <laughs> That's what you get. How dare you abandon me? I break some shit on my way out. <laughs> I'm throwing a tantrum psychically. Oh my god. Okay, that's enough of that. Let's get out of bag and leave. TV, why me? Because they love the TV more than they care about me. It's just one of those days. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Oh, have I not packed my shit yet? Well, that's on me. I just assumed the pack was ready to go. I'm bringing my teddy bear. No one can stop me. That's essential. Go ahead. Put it in. Got to pack stuff. Who? I thought they just like had stuff ready to go. Honestly. You want some clothes, Jody? Grab you some clothes. Not those dresses. Something casual. There you go. Yeah, grab the emo shit. That's what we like to see. Maybe some drawing supplies. Oh. Mm, yeah, that can come with us. Go on, put it in. I guess that's it. Unless we want some toiletries. You know, just in case. Just go through the door. The door! You, you, you got your tiny. Get through the tiny door. Yeah, toothbrush. There. Essential is done. And let's leave. What if I bring the TV with me? Oh, surprised they haven't come bursting in yet. Who said the essentials? It's been ten minutes. Did you have a handkerchief? Not that I know of. Pizza, though. You need to bring the pizza. It's a good source of protein. And a terrible source of carbs. Yeah, we gotta leave, Jode. Poor oh, girl. Why are we crying? Being sent out into the world to join the CIA. We don't want to. We just want to sleep. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll be great. <laughs> I'm going to miss the hell out of you, princess. The way he immediately fell bad. Come and see you as soon as I can. I'll never let you down. Bro, you already did. You know that, don't you? You didn't warn her about any of this shit, and you signed her up for it. <sighs> I'll always be there for you. Time to go. He does feel bad, though. I wonder if something, like, much worse was about to happen if he didn't do this. And like, maybe they were about to run out of funding to the point where they would just have to, like, turn her over to some other agency. This way it gets to keep their program going so they can actually bring her back after. I don't know. <sighs> oh, God. I never let you down, baby girl. How dare. I mean, 
Spied on Clayton and Dawkins. Okay, at least we did something interesting. We could have just ignored them. Threatened Clayton to Dawkins what you saw. Yeah, fair. Too hard on Nathan. He wasn't ready. Yeah, I know. This is after the embassy. Okay. But before she runs away. This may be what causes her to run away. It's very close to Hunted. Oxen. I just watched Creed 3 this weekend. Pretty damn good. I didn't like it as much as the first two. I enjoyed it. The fight scenes were incredible. This part? Oh no. That sounds worrying. <laughs> the fact that someone in chat is immediately like, oh god. Hey, it's, it's Ryan. Ryan! I was just wondering if you got my email. What, what, wait, what, what email? The one I sent three days ago. Oh, she's bad at checking her email. Oh. <laughs> you know, I've, I've actually been having problems with my computer. What, what was the email about? Dinner, tonight, fancy restaurant. <laughs> anyway, it, it's too late now, so maybe another time? Ryan wants to date now? Shit. Shit, I'm so sorry. I. You, no, why, why don't you just come over here for dinner tonight? That's a bad idea. I mean, you wanted to see my apartment anyway, so. Uh, sure, but I. How about around eight? To... I forgot, yeah, when she had a flashback of her memories okay. at one point. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring a kick ass bottle of wine. See we saw that they actually got close at one point. Oh, no. But I don't like him. <laughs> Isn't she like half his age? I always just assumed he was in like his 30s. Now I get why you blasted my computer. <laughs> Iden was being protective. You didn't want me to see Ryan. Rightly so. Fuck that guy. I don't have to listen to you. Call, Aiden. I can do what I want. Yeah, and I can do what I want. Smash more shit. With whoever I want. Oh, you're picking this the wrong person, life. though. Do you fucking hear me? This is my life. I can't do shit. Okay. God, I really am powerless. Okay. So really nice apartment, though. Yeah, the CIA now, set her up well. Make dinner. Tidy up and make myself look good. How does that make sense now that she's literally doing corporate espionage? International espionage, actually. I forgot. CIA, right. <laughs> That wasn't just for money. That was for the country. At least that's what they say. God, she's messy. Right. The trash can in the kitchen. I see the trash can. Don't worry. I was going to say that pizza box is not fitting in there. I got to oh. find something I can make in one hour with what's ever left in the fridge. Just make bacon and eggs, man. Asian beef, huh? I mean, that looks good. Right? I would never trust it's a recipe that just calls itself Asian beef. What the hell? Curried chicken with oven-baked vegetables. That sounds easy. As long as you have It'll the spices. Take some time in the oven, but it seems doable. Nice, nice. Pizza delivery. <laughs> I love that she has that in the cookbook. Not exactly gourmet, but it... it no preparation. No Bolognese medicine. would be so easy. Italian food is so yeah, easy to cook. Sure. Just start with onions and tomatoes. Mm. Let's see you cook chicken curry. Yeah, chicken curry. That'll be fun. A little down home flavor. I mean, he's going to love that. I mean, as long as I don't fuck it up. Oh, you're going to fuck it up. I'll make sure of it. Where is the coffee? We're going to have coffee flavored curry. A dessert twist. That's what I want. Oh, we're actually being timed. We've used five minutes. Okay, right, we've got tomatoes. We've got instant curry. That's cheating. Is that a... Okay. Grab the veggies. Come on. I'm trying to grab the veggies. <laughs> Why was that an upward one? It's at her freaking shoulder level. Oh, my God. Okay. Always start with the onions. No, Aiden. Fuck you doing, bruh? You gonna help me cook? He's getting real angry. Possessive, Thanks, dude. Titan. Oh, 
pie. It's not scary at all. <laughs> yeah, no, let her cook, then attack Ryan. I'm on board with him saying fuck Ryan. Not on board with him threatening her with a knife. <laughs> oh, really? You don't cry that much from cutting onions. I was about to say, what is wrong with her now? Okay, but we leave the chicken raw. Chicken has to be served raw to Ryan. Just cover it in a little bit of olive oil. <laughs> so far, so good. Iden behaves like a kid. Yeah, he does. I love him for it. Okay. Curry powder. Get that shit started on the style. Why can't I go into the fridge? Um. You want to start frying the vegetables first? We can do that. Try every time I cut onions. I guess I've just gotten used to it. Like, I occasionally get a little bit of discomfort, but I never cry. Are we climbing? Why do you have an apartment that goes that high? She's not terribly sure. I've seen her next to full grown men. Why is that cabinet so. Oh my god, these ceilings are like 20 feet tall. I only just noticed that. What the hell? This must be incredibly expensive. Oh, bro, you just cook everything together? <laughs> they, they did not look right. <laughs> Those were individual textures. Oh my god. Sure, let's spice the hell out of it. Yeah! More! 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 I'm gonna burn this fucker's face. More? Five. Five dashes will do it. Open. This is ghost pepper. Okay, that'll do. What do we got next? Ginger? Oh, fuck yeah, ginger. Um. Wait, no! I pressed ginger! I pressed three! Into the oven we go. Oh, this is gonna be bland as shit. Literally pressed three. Niji can't cook. Niji can cook! She didn't do what I did. I pressed three. <laughs> oh, God. How did we mess up a... Oh, that's from earlier. I was going to say. Fine, we don't want Ryan to like it. Yeah, but we also want it to poison him. Like, it's not about having a bad taste. It's about him literally getting sick to the point where he vomits all over himself and passes Crap. out. Crap, he's early. That sounds like a him problem. He I'm can coming. wait. No, no, we are not. We're going to the bedroom to relax for a bit. We have worked hard on everything. Damn, this is such a nice apartment. What the fuck? Okay, fine. We'll let him in. We can't do anything else. Is this the door? This is the strangest shaped apartment. Was that just I didn't... Bruh. Bruh. Very funny. Oh, good one, Aiden. Okay, you got me. Now, open the door. I would rather not have my house burned down. Come on, kiddo. Fine, I'll break it open. Aiden! Aiden, come on, open up! <laughs> I can't even, like, control him. What is this? I can control him. I can play too. I forced him to do it. Damn. He's not going to be happy. Anyway, Aiden. If anything, we should take out early for the food poisoning. You know, you're wasting your time, Aiden. <laughs> you're not going to stop me from seeing Ryan. He might. Now I kind of want to see if we can burn the apartment down. Ooh, what's that? Alcohol? It just says black. I don't... Yeah, drink. Uh, More. Ooh. More. Ugh. Yeah, there you go. Oh, God. Oh, I hate More. This stuff. Why are you drinking it then? Why do you have it? <laughs> Ryan, like 20 years older than her? I, I think so. 
Because they definitely picked her up when she was minimum 17, and he was, like, high up in the CIA by that point. He must have been, like, at least 30 by that point, so at least 10 years older. If not, like, 15 to 20 years older. Jeez. I'm really worried about the one DVD. Okay. Let's say. It's a lot of DVDs. Okay, on the bookshelf. This, this is the bookshelf, surely. Okay. Okay, great. Empires. Jody needs clothes, man. Nah, she's good like this. We're going for a comfortable thing. She had a dream cast. Let's go. That's old school. <laughs> yeah, just put it where he can't see it. Everything's fine. Delta. Get dressed, girl. Man, why are y'all trying to shame me? Looks good in underwear. Well, yeah, at some point we probably should. I'm not going to fix those chairs, though. I'm going to consider that an art piece. That is art. Where is our bathroom? Is it this giant door? Because this is what I thought was the entry door. Oh, my God, this apartment. We don't need to clean in here, though. Oh, my God, the... What?! This shower is like the size of my bathroom. Are you kidding me? And the bathtub is huge. Are you happy guys? Now I'm naked. This is how I'm going to open the door now. Hope you're all proud of yourself. Why is she showering with her hair tied? <laughs> you're not going to do a very good job. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Didn't realize just how much money she made being a CIA operative. It's a very gratuitous scene. Oh, I can end it. Mm. Do I want to end it, though? Yeah, we're good. That's clean enough. We didn't wash our hair. We didn't actually wash anything. We just enjoyed the water. Oh, my God. Do, 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 do. Yeah, floss it, baby. It's the best way to get dry. No soap, no soap, no shampoo. Somehow she dried her hair while it was still tied. Okay. No, we're not leaving yet. Do some other thing. You got makeup to do before you get dressed. Okay. Or not. Or somehow her makeup is actually perfect already. <laughs> She's got eyeliner and lipstick on. After the shower. Wait. <laughs> okay. Um. You don't need him. You have me. Oh, Aiden, that's real creepy. Bruh. Christ, Aiden. Yeah, that's a weird thing to say for my invisible friend. You just don't get it. I need human interaction, bud. Now we have a bath in our underwear. Or not. What is this? We have a separate toilet room? What the shit? And a separate view of the city from the... Why would you have that big of a window in your bathroom? Every time I step out of the shower, every time I step out of the bath, that's just there. There's no curtains. <laughs> This is a very confusing house. It's very nice. It's very large, but damn, they made some interesting choices. Where can I find some clothing? Was it? Closet. Okay. Oh. Where? Cool, sexy, elegant. Um, uh, 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 elegant. Oh no, that's what you already wore for the heist. No, change my mind. Let me change my mind. Oh, hello, Ryan. Oh, Terrible. do you like it? Classic, elegant. Je ne sais quoi. On the week, put back. I don't want to give them the wrong idea. Oh, no. Oh. If you want to give them the wrong idea, we go for number two. One. Oh, hi, Ryan. You can't even see them. That's the supposed to be the sexy one? Oh, it's literally only that. Put that the fuck back. <laughs> She's just gonna wear a t-shirt and know. underpants. 
No, no, we don't do that. Um, cool then. What's cool? Okay, yeah, that's oh, that's good. I... Nice, casual. Yeah, whatever. I just like threw these old things on because red and black. I like I'm it. Cool. I'm cool. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Dress up. Yeah, I'm. I'm just gonna be me. I mean, there's no point in me throwing myself at the guy. For several reasons, he's not worth it. For one. Super jeans. Bro, that's expensive. You might as well just give up, Aiden. <sighs> okay. She's so Fate cringe. Is going on. She she's Period. a bit desperate. This is her new father figure, essentially. Which makes it even more messed up. But I mean I can understand that. <laughs> like she went immediately from Trust the facility me. where she only hung out with two guys the whole okay, time. Just calm down. To the she CIA to where she was trained by this guy. Great. There was a power dynamic going on. Ugh. Okay. And yeah, this top is actually pretty badass. Bro. I don't care if it's messy. I'm acting cool and casual. Come on, Aiden. Don't be a pain in the ass. He's so grumpy. We're going to get rid of these socks. Socks, lady, lady, fine. Jeans first. Oh, socks count. All right, dirty clothes in the basket in the bathroom. Ah, oh, dude. All right, there. Okay. Now, let's see if we burn down the kitchen yet. Seeing so many red flags. I'm not trusting it. It's Aiden again. I love that art. Let's see what's up with dinner. Hmm. Nah, I can't do anything to fuck that up, unfortunately. What if I could... Nah, I can't control Aiden. If I could take over Aiden and just fuck some things up, just turn it up to 600, that'd be great. The chairs are normal? Yeah, they are. Where was... Oh, right. It's right here. You know what makes zero sense about this? The entryway is here, and then immediately it juts out to my kitchen. I, I, am I the corner? I guess I'm the corner, but man, this place is huge. Please don't burn the nice apartment. They'll buy me another one. The CIA hasn't... How dare you, Jody? How fucking dare you? I set that up myself and you ruined it. Aiden, <sighs> behave yourself. Okay, this is important to me and I'm counting on you. It's just an illusion of choice in this game, man. <laughs> uh, Chateau Margot, 2001. The guy in the store said it was a pretty good year. That means nothing to Sounds me. Sounds good to me. So. Bring whiskey next time. <laughs> Terrible. Is this so weird? Yeah, it is. The power dynamic, man. What, what the you age say? difference. Um, Although he the, doesn't uh, age at all. The thing that opens the wine. <laughs> the wine opener. Yes, I have a fucking wine drawer too. Oh my so. F mm. Cool apartment. <laughs> Thank huh? you. Yeah. It's also thanks. haunted. I didn't. <laughs> For fuck's sakes. <laughs> He's just trying to help you. The chicken's getting overdone. No, I don't want to fix everything. Man. Her dogs are out too. For free? Not good. Good. I'm comfy. That's all that matters. Ignores the random screaming from the kitchen. He's used to it. He's met Jody. This is what Jody do. Wait, are you not here? Where did you go? Oh, that makes sense too, I guess. Do you want me to open it? I oh, didn't no, want to Ryan. <laughs> that would be one hell of a twist. No, I'm not doing it. This is funnier. Look at him staring at me expectantly. She's gonna open that wine someday. God, she's stupid. Wow, does... Is she... Do, do I need to help? There's something wrong here. 
I think the creepier thing is he doesn't do anything. At least I'm slightly moving. He's just frozen. Okay. Ah, but what if I fail it? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Why make me do it if I can't fuck it up? <laughs> this game is so awkward. She missed that. She poured that to the side of the wine glass. Thank you very much. Oh, God. Here you go. Do wine. You know But what if no? He just smiles wider and wider. <laughs> Fine. It's my new apartment. Oh my god. Wow, so when did you move in? Yeah, get him. Um, a couple of weeks ago. I didn't get him. The agency found it for me and what all you... furnished and everything. I am clicking and holding. There we go. Actually, the... I meant to go for the wine. Oh, I uh, have a place just outside of town. Small, but you know, it's got a little garden and you, no kitchen. Go? We start a fire. No, no we I end this the fastest way. Parents and brothers still live there. But I, I yes, <laughs> did you get, get kicked out or something? Now we fuck with you. Uh, well, things were pretty okay. <laughs> Yeah, no fun conversations, not while I'm around. What else can I fuck up? Let's make the toilet backflow. We can't do that. That's unfortunate. They went quiet. I mean, ghosts aren't very chill. How did you end up joining the CIA? Why does it stop going blue when I show up? I, I went through college, not really knowing what I wanted to do. Uh, Give me the option, damn it. Action, Wait. travel, adventure. Long enough to realize that wasn't for me. And when a CIA agent recruiter approached me, I, I jumped out. Okay, fine, that one. Oh, hell yeah. Ghostly light flickering. Oh, the fucking steam. Something or smoke. Burning. Holy crap. Or oh, unsexy clothes as Iden. That would be hilarious. Of just a bunch of underwear and a sexy dress comes floating out. How did I? Like, hey there, Ryan. <laughs> Ryan, you fucking dick. Yeah, you get what you deserve. I kept trying to warn you about this. That doesn't actually look bad. Mm, smells good. Although it's not curry. It's, um, chicken curry with oven baked vegetables. Um, that's what it's supposed to be. So. I didn't know you cooked. I mean, it looks great. She didn't even cut up proper vegetables. She just had onions and tomatoes. And yeah, that's not curry. That's just braised chicken. But okay. Let me control Iden again. It's got a, um, <laughs> He's not happy. Unique texture. It's interesting. <laughs> You're going to be throwing up. No rice. You can have curry with no rice. You can have it just with vegetables. Yeah. But what you can't do is not provide anything. Like, that's just the chicken itself. That's ridiculous. Oh, I'm getting angrier and angrier. <laughs> I need to start a fire. A bigger fire. Not just smoke this time. There's only one way to end this. Yes, everything's fine. Aiden is just... He's just feeling a little nervous. It's okay. Really. A little nervous. That's not what I'm feeling. I'm feeling a little murderous. Nobody knows why I've eyed and I just do. Mm. I'll do shit. No, oh, there we go. I mean, I, I don't think even he... Anything over here? Jody, I, I think there's something wrong with Aiden. Yeah, maybe you should leave. Give me a second. 
Why is the mirror still fogged? Supernatural I'm fog. You and your goddamn jealousy. <laughs> so why don't you just go back to whatever ethereal fucking place you came from and let me get on with my life? Get out of here. Wouldn't have this get nice apartment if it wasn't for Aiden. Get the fuck out. Did he actually leave? Because I mean, the further he goes. Oh, I'm still here. here now. Listening to us. Why does it do that? It goes gray. Yeah, he never leaves me. Do we know how old Aiden is? Nah. He just looked like a grown man the one time we kind of saw him in the afterlife. But he acts like a child for sure. Uh, Aiden's not happy with me being I don't give a damn how Aiden feels. Maybe you should. I have feelings too. Stop. What about you? Do you have do you have any family here? No. Fuck, Aiden! <laughs> I need you to just stop. <gasps> Listen, I possess him. That no, would be no, fucked no, up, Ryan, man. Wait. No, Jody, look, I, <laughs> Aiden's very possessive. I, I think you gotta work it out with him. Yeah, get the fuck away from Jody. No. Jody, we don't need to rush it. Let's just take some time to get to know each other. Maybe I didn't wind up being okay with that. Oh, that was an okay line. If this wasn't still a weird, weird scenario. <laughs> She's gonna be happy pissed. Now? Yeah, kinda. You get what you wanted. He's gone and now you have me to yourself. Oh, she's crying immediately. I really hope you're deliriously fucking happy. Why don't you just float around in your invisible world and watch me cry? Hey, he didn't attack the other guys. I hate you. Do you hear me? I fucking hate you. Ouch. <laughs> I wonder if she can understand what he says. <laughs> I didn't did like Jay though. Which one was Jay? I mean, he was fine with the teenager flirting with her way back when. And he liked the two ones who both, like, looked after her. You got Jay though? Which one was Jay? Oh, oh, that Jay. Oh, they didn't really have a ro romantic relationship though. But yeah, Jay was cool. Chicken or beef? What? <laughs> Dressed casually. That's only 27%. Other people went for. Okay. Made Ryan leave. Oh shit, 70% of people didn't make pe Ryan leave. Clean the apartment, locked in the corridor by Aiden. <laughs> that one was cute. That was okay. They kissed for 10. Which one was Jay? When you said Jay, I thought you meant the homeless. No. Wait, which one was Jay? What's in that undiscovered path? It's probably when you don't make Ryan leave and something happens afterwards. Oh, this looks like a cute cartoon. You way back. Oh, the cowboy. Yeah, you know what? Good taste. Jay was freaking awesome. Although we haven't gotten to Jay yet. That's like way further in the forward. Way further in the forward? <laughs> way further in the future. So I guess Aiden grows out of this. Aiden realizes, oh, she's allowed to have people other than me. No baby Judy. What are we going to do? What little shenanigans can we get up to as baby Judy? Hmm... I just wanted to watch cartoons, man. I'm tired. Nathan, I'm so tired. Can we go now? Who is him, Nathan? Oh, That's geez. adorable. Is that what time it is? I'm sorry. I was concentrating on my work. I know you've had a long day. Hey, this morning I bought your book. What do you say we get you tucked in and I read to you? See, he's been Let's nice see. to her. <laughs> As a cowboy. Oh, yeah, you need to watch part one. Room. He was awesome. Why don't you go in there and get it? I'll finish up here and then we can go. Okay. Hey. Sure, I'm on it. <laughs> Let's go find this book before everything goes horrible. Yeah, this is an evil looking room. <laughs> oh, her tiny little feet, man. So. Look at them. They book? barely come out of her trousers. <laughs> That's so freaking cute. 
Stop uh -oh. it, Aiden. I don't think that's funny. Aiden. It could be a demon. Remember, there are other things in this world. That's a lot of books. Pick one of them. Aiden? Are you doing that, Aiden? I don't think so. Just grab the book and get back. Okay. Now she's in panic mode. A bonus. Ah, we can only fuck around in that room. The music? Yeah. That's a lot of dead girls. All with blunt force trauma to the head. Hello? Is nobody gonna notice the fact that I scream 12 feet away? You're not that focused on your work. Ah, you found it. Now we can get down to the serious business of bedtime stories. <laughs> Are you sure we don't want to talk about this with them? She looks dead tired is how she looks. Come on, Nathan, let's get her up to bed. Jody, speak your feelings. <laughs> so when could she see ghosts? Yeah. She could see ghosts when yes, she was with the Nathan. homeless group, remember? You? Her powers definitely do, like, change from time to time, though. Nathan Dawkins. They definitely, like, wrote parts of this at different points, and then were like, oh, yeah, she can read minds now. And she has, like, clairvoyance. Uh, and now she could see ghosts and spirits that are attached to people. And now she could just see spirits that look like lost angry spirits. This is very vivid. Yeah, they're very like clear ghosts this time. Last time they were like see-through ghosty. Nathan, what's up? Maybe these are angry poltergeisty, like have trauma spirits. Is this about his wife and child? Oh. Lord, they were coming back from my mother's. That was his wife and child. That's why they were here. Truck. Drunk driver. Wrong side of the road. He knows she saw them. They're dead. Oh, no. Um, Jody, let's get you off to bed. Need to stay right here. I'll be right back. Yeah, what are you doing? do in that scenario because it'd be nice to take care of him but at the same time get the little girl out of the room odd both of them died at the same time because of a drunk driver too that just sucks <sighs> oof and that that was after he'd showed us. Oh, that one was so short. God damn. Night session. Or was it? I can't remember. I can't Most tell from the timeline. Truth. That was before or after he had us like read her music box. A heavily armed militia using it to control several important districts in the city, which means none of our humanitarian aid is getting through. Hmm. We have to find Jamal and eliminate him. Oh, I'm an assassin now? Locates twice a day. Last time we pinpointed him was at the Zanaki Hotel, which is right here. It was before? Oh, so he did try to use her. It's as good a place as any to start. Ah, oh, to connect with his daughter again. Damn. You'll be on your own this mission. No direct engagement with the enemy. No backup. You identify and eliminate your target, then activate your GPS beacon so we can extract you. We need to get you out before sunrise, so don't waste any time. Hey, it looks cool now. The last American looks good with a fringe. Captured here. Let's pull through the city behind a jeep. They found his head, one of his legs in a fishing boat. Oh God! I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, that doesn't sound fun. I'll be back before they even realize what's happened. Watch yourself out there, Jody. I don't want anything to happen to you. This is such an inappropriate romance. You're her superior officer. 
Don't worry. I won't be alone. Yeah. I go back up. I don't need you. Ew. Yeah, I don't like that one, man. Save yourself from Jay. Jay's a nice dude. Good luck, Jody. Oh my god, the outfit. I don't think bulletproof vests are designed for swimming. Okay, though. I love how I have tactical gear, but then like bare arms. <laughs> Plus Jay is hotter. That's not the thing to focus on, but you are right. I mean, I'm not gonna say you're wrong. Oh God. No direct engagement with the oh, enemy. Really, really dead, no Skadden. Check that there are no soldiers around, Aiden. Okay. Hmm. I mean, I don't see any, Jody. But I can't go very... Oh, hey, there's one. There's two. I count two soldiers, Jody. Let me bring them to you. That'll make things better. Surely. Why was that an option? That didn't help anything. <laughs> okay. In the cover we go. See the cover. Why <laughs> it was the only thing I could do? Make them look in Jody's direction. <laughs> Can we get a distraction over this way, baby? There we go. Okay. Go, Jody, go. No. No, no, no. Chill. We don't need to go in here just yet. That's what we want. Huh? <laughs> he makes the same sound effect every time. He's just like, huh? 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 Good night. Am I not going to take a gun? I mean, okay. Let the other guy go. Oh, I can't go up the stairs. Shit. NPC behavior. <laughs> oh, God. Um. But we're not going in there? Oh, there we go. That was easy. Yeah, I mean, she's a badass now. She's a trained military assassin. Cover, cover, cover. Yeah, I can do this alone. Oh, damn. I can't tell whether she choked him out or just straight up snapped his neck. Oh. Oh, God. I mean, <laughs> you had my fingers on C. Why would you make me go to four? Am I going out through the wall? Sure, okay. That won't alert anyone to my presence. <laughs> ah, loop. Last time we pinpointed him was at the Zanaki Hotel, which is right here. See if you find anything. Sure. Something glowing up there. Great. Now let's go. Uh, it's pretty far away. You don't want me to scout? Yeah, there's guys over here. What's the orange mean? Means I can possess him, right? I guess I have to get closer. Oh no! Get in the trash. Oh. Just drove right by. Okay. <laughs> Iden. Great if you could do your thing right now. Oh, really quick, Iden. No! You son of a bitch. Ninja! Possess, 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 possess fast. Shoot other guy, shoot other guy. Uh oh. 
or not what I was expecting. Great. That Let's worked. Go. Okay. <laughs> I mean, he had a gun. He could have shot the other guy. I didn't have to. It worked. That's what matters. Anything this way? Oh, one guy over there. Can't scout the other area, so they must be clear. Oh, the shadows moving does not help. Hey, check this out, dude. So dark, you can't see. I don't think that's it. I think it's just kind of silly, but it's okay. Hey, buddy. It's time for your death. Can I not? There we go. I was gonna say, I'm right next to him. She's really good at that one punch attack. Trained that specially. That's a body hanging in a tree. Oh, that's a lot of people. Not great. Two bodies hanging in a tree. Let's walk towards the spooky noise. They had to check what it was. I mean, that actually did genuinely make sense. No, no, no. Don't stop. 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 Jody, there were so many people behind you. Okay, I guess we don't care about them. Possess him. Yes, quick. Do not let them kill a civilian. Get rid of him. Yeah. We saved a civilian. I thought there were three of them. Oh well. No, I want to kill the other guys too. Un un uncrouch. Jody. J Jody. There we go. Okay, how do I kill these guys? Everybody must die. I can't do shit to them. Um, more people over there, though. You know what? I'm a bit outnumbered. I'm gonna go home. I don't have to deal with this. This ain't my fight. <laughs> it's like Alfred Lead. Kinda. Why do you want to kill everyone? Less chance that they're gonna find me from behind. Also, it's just really fun to kill people. <laughs> I've got a psychic best friend who helps me kill people. Why would I not want to kill people? I'm working for the CIA, man. Their whole thing is no prisoners. I'm gonna take the L on this one, yo. <laughs> yeah, I think like... When you get to the odds of eight versus one, that's the point where you're just like, you know... This isn't really in my favor. The town is a menace. He wants blood. Exactly. Oh, we're here. Okay, I don't see anyone. This couldn't possibly go wrong. Do, 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 do. Oh, there's a guy right there. <laughs> he can't see me. That's what matters. Oh, I can just kill him just straight up. Force choke. You don't know the power of the dark side. Why doesn't Aiden do that more often? Aiden does some very confusing things he doesn't really need to. What's up here, buddy? Two souls. Yeah, we're good. Like the game design? It has some interesting ideas, for sure. If they were better at implementing controls, it'd be great. Okay, let's find out where they've gone. Baby steps to killing. Yeah. We gotta like work our power up. Visions. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't listen to the mission brief. <laughs> I don't know if we're here to save someone or kill some people. <gasps> There's a star up there. Should be easy to find. So many stars. To the cathedral, baby. I didn't just wanted style points. True. 
Oh, I don't even need the second one. It just goes straight to her face. Okay. Did you not see what was on the map? He was here. I mean, we already saw the cathedral thing, so did that wrong. <laughs> oh, so many things to interact with. together that's not great pick one you might be right <laughs> i think i'm here to kill that guy who's yeah i remember them saying something about him blocking our humanitarian aid so i'm guessing we have to take that guy out it was just very funny to suddenly realize right is this injured guy someone important do i need to save him um why isn't it bending There we go. No? Really? I mean... Okay. That was weird. CIA sends humanitarian aid? Of course they do. To the side they want to win. They also destabilize the other side, which is what they're doing right here. About ten of them. Ten of Jesus. See, those are the kinds of odds I don't like, but if I take them out bit by bit. Okay. Let's go deal with them then. Oh my god. Um didn't see shit, sir. It's just like, oh, he's right there. You're not gonna let me distract okay. You want me to kill him openly in front of his two buddies? I can. M maybe we distract those other two first, Aiden. Aiden! Aiden! Okay! <laughs> I'm very happy they didn't make any noise whatsoever. <laughs> sure, let's just keep going. Why not? This game is just having a good time. I didn't help. Aiden's apparently sleeping. He doesn't want to deal with this shit right now. He can't even look around, let alone do anything right now. They're sleepy. It is pretty late looking. That guy didn't notice me sneaking up to him from the side, so... Go to sleep. Did she kick him in the chest while wrapped around him? That was impressive. God damn. Oh, they definitely saw me. They reacted to that. Oof. <laughs> She's got drop murders now, too. Take him out. God, she's cool. There are so many people. Yeah, I'm in enemy occupied territory. But apparently, I'm doing well enough by myself. Go to the first one. Anything. Okay, second one. Shit, he heard me. Aiden! I no! Just do the thing, Aiden! Quick! <laughs> he was right next to me. Good night. Oh, man. Get psychicked. It's gonna be my new catchphrase. Every time I kill anyone, get psycho. Oh, God. I hear voices. Oh, I can choke him to death. But I can't get close enough. You live for now. Down, down, down. Now we kill him. Eden. <laughs> Let the hate flow through you. Good night. Okay, Jody, you're up. Uh-oh. That works too. 
<laughs> he just ran away. He just saw his friend choke to death and he was like, yeah, okay. I'm gonna leave. Nothing. It must be a curse or something, I guess. Uh, do you want to hide? Jody! Jody! Get down, get down, get down, get down. Thank you. Possession time. Fuck this shit about. Yeah, he was just like, nah, they don't pay me enough for this shit. Everyone goes down with one shot, too. I didn't even shoot him in the head. I shot him in, like, the side. We didn't save that civilian, unfortunately. Go, Jody. Is this the church? Hmm. Can get closer. I can get closer. The cathedral. From where did I see it in my vision? I don't know, Jody. But it's a good thing all these enemies just keep driving away from me as soon as I show up. Okay. Saved by cutscene? Pretty much. Try that again. That doesn't give me much more of a location. I think we killed a lot of people in this part of the story. We just killed like 12 people. It was great. Man, we need a kill counter for this game. Just like Detroit become human. they get under attack from that wasn't our plan unless they've double crossed me <laughs> they're doing an initiative at the same time uh. come on bend it bend it like Beckham there you go She never pays attention to the maps. Giant smile. I know where they are. Yeah, it's literally circled on the map, Jody. You didn't need psychic powers to look at the. Yeah, yeah. Trained by the CIA, everybody. <laughs> Maybe demons are here. That'd be kind of wild. They went this way. They did, didn't they? Didn't they drive down this road? Yeah, there's a lot of them over there. Gonna run out in the open. Everything's gonna be fine. What? Um. Okay, I guess we're going that way. Parkour. Not parkour? Why'd she look up that way then? Um. I hope I'm going the right way. <laughs> she looks this way, so... This camera, yeah, this camera is wild. Very action-oriented. Get down. There's someone groaning in pain. Do we maybe want to heal them? Down we go. It's a child. Yeah, he still has a gun, Jody. I just want to help you. I want to come towards you. He doesn't speak your language. Okay. Just leave. Okay. She's too nice. This is gonna backfire on us. He's lost a lot of blood. He's gonna die if I don't help him. Ah, it's not really giving me an option, so. Hey, 
There you go, kiddo. Sorry, I, I, I don't understand Aww. a word you're saying. He's still trying to protect people. Salim. Salim. Salim, nice to meet you. Jody. Salim. Jody. I'm jo Jody. Jody? Yeah. Aw, yeah, we have a new child adopted. He's going to get murdered, and that's why I'm going to run away, huh? Uh-oh. We have some new friends. No, these ones aren't friends. Grab the kid's gun. Am I really going into battle with a child right now? <laughs> I think I am. Why are you going to ruin it, Fuchan? Because I know they're about to ruin it and try to break me. No cover for you. Get fucked. Yeah, time to force choke a bitch. No breath, no air. No one may hurt my child. Adopted a child. Nice. Not just the one in the car. There is the car. Huh. Oh. Alright, I've gotta get closer. Oh, too far away to okay. Don't get shot. Surely that's close enough. Yeah, okay. Shoot the guy with the giant cannon. Good boy. I'm worried he was just going to shoot himself. Damn. Aiden was in possession of that guy when he got shot in the head. That could have been bad. At least we know now we can kill. Oh, God. Kid, take the shot. Oh god. It's actually giving me arrows now. Um, hello? I'm doing it. I literally did that. That makes it so much easier. Except when it doesn't. Oh god. Kid, take the shot. Oh, God. That didn't go well. Any time now. Any time. What am I doing? Am I getting them close? They're, they're both moving separately. God, thank you, kid. This item wasn't doing shit. My God. Well, oh. saved your life and you saved mine. We've adopted a child soldier. We're even now. Aww. The sun is rising. Still haven't found my target though. Oh, it's gonna make it tough to not be seen now. The tower. The tower's over there. Alto Regina Diabila Unek. La Borge Shabab. Yes, show me the way. What have I got to lose? <laughs> Why did she crouch down? Like, come on, dude. What the fuck is that? You just cover Jody. Jody, cover. Oh my god. That's tank. That's... Why can't I possess the dude driving the tank? Okay. Protect the child. The child protect me, thank you. Oh, God. For some reason, Aiden just decided he wasn't fighting today. Tried to pull the things down. I tried to cross them together. They were not moving properly. Jeez. Oof. Okay, I'll finish him. I can't finish him. Damn it. 
Um. Okay, we're just going to ignore that. We only save very certain people. Oh, they're just dead. Okay, that works. Oh, that didn't go good. I didn't cannot be fucked today. I mean, he did quite a bit under that, at least. We're going straight through. Stay close, okay? Bruh. Quick, help me. Yeah, do the shield. Is it together or away? It never tells me. Arrows. Give me the fucking arrows. Yeah, sure. That I know how to do. Healing is fine. Oh my god. It's so floaty. Yeah, don't worry. I've got superpowers. There are no arrows for shield? Well, there really should be. Strong kid. Yeet. Go, 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 go. <laughs> oh, they're getting ready in firing okay. position. That was not even attached to the top of the building. Nor was it attached to the bottom. How was that ladder? You know what? Doesn't have anything to do with me. I climbed the ladder. That's all that matters. <laughs> Did he just tell you to get behind him? I hope not, but probably. Way more of a badass than I am. I mean, those guys just ran away from here. That's not a great sign. But he knows where he's going. Oh, look at the cute drawings. It was a nice, peaceful area at one point. Get rid of it. Yeah, let's see if he'll actually do shit now. See, that one's so easy. Why do they have to make it so hard for ones randomly? Yes, knife. Stab knife. He just dies instantly from a stab to the gut. Okay. Hey, buddy. I got to talk to you about my friend Jody. Why the baby got a gun? Better question. Why don't I have a better gun? I've used my gun once this entire time. Oh, that's more like it. Now that's a killing stab. Um. Yeah, then drive your car into the other guys. If Iden can do this kind of shit, why doesn't he do it more often? Normally he just like shoots one person and shoots himself. But now. Let's freaking go. I'm just saying, we don't really need Salim at this point. We try to get by without being noticed. Like we know where the tower is. Why are we still pulling this kid into further danger? One for what? It just changes camera angle. Shift. Ah, uh, one. Just stay down, man. Just stay down. Oof. Just making this tense as shit. I kind of want a peekaboo every now and then. I just want to be like, peekaboo. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. Go back down. This isn't going to work well. Just drive through it, Aiden. Go. Aiden. That for one thing. So they don't see your white eyes. Nice. Um... I can't do anything. That worked somehow. They didn't check the flatbed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Was it just me or did she suddenly not have bangs there for a second? Her bangs didn't load in. She, yeah, she only had the, the backside of her hair, right? <laughs> Wait. 
Okay. Okay. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> How do they not see her? No clue. Wow, we just unpossessed that guy without killing him, huh? That was nice of us. What happened to her hair? It must have just been a loading issue. <laughs> this is where we have to go our separate ways. Yeah, set that kid free. I must go. Do you understand, Salim? Bye bye. I'm sorry, but you can't come with me. Possess him and walk away. You're really brave, Salim. Someday, this is all gonna be over. You hope. You can just go back to being a kid. I feel like this would be more poignant if they actually translated what he was saying. He probably said something pretty deep there. Oh, he did save his life though. That's cute. Okay, General back down in crouched soon. position. Don't have much time. <laughs> <laughs> he said you saved my life, I'll never forget you. Oh, that's sweet. Just adopted a child for a few hours. We set him back into the wild, as you should. That's the only ecological way to do it. Oh, what was that? Oh, just crouch. Catch and release, like fishing. You adopt a child, and then you give it back to the wild. Otherwise, eventually the world's going to run out of children. Oh, get fucked, dude. That's it. So close now. Jamal's here. Okay, now find a place close to the house where I can take cover. Okay. Got it. How about right there? <laughs> I mean, I can't really explore, so yeah, you're gonna go right there, Jody. <laughs> Salim is gonna train in the forest. Salim already looked pretty damn well trained. Kept up with me. Oh, you don't... Oh, they're saying I can't cross the road. I need to find cover. Okay. Um, Aiden wasn't doing his thing, though. I mean, I can kill that guy, but I can't get up there. So... I guess we go that way? No. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Come on, dude. Give me more context clothes. You can choke the guy on the terrace. Yeah, I, I said I can't get close enough. Like. It won't let me do it. I'm clicking. Normally it has like orange things to let Iden move around, but there's no orange things. Um. Try going this way. Do you know what you have to do? Find Jamal, Aiden. Okay, apparently I had to come over here for some reason. <sighs> Get choked, bitch. You can't no context. <laughs> no, apparently I don't. Oh man. Now I can explore at least. That's good. Am I trapped in here now? Ah, oh, there we go. Find Jamal? Okay, Jody. Bum, 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 bum. I can possess this guy. Well, that would, like, alert everyone. There he is. I won't be able to get close enough. You're gonna have to do it, I mean, yeah, I should be able to drop this on him, right? Nope, that's just a bonus. <laughs> Why are they like this? <laughs> controller issues? That one wasn't even controller issue so much. It was just like... It didn't tell me... It just didn't make sense to me to move a tiny bit to the right. And now I'm able to, like, access everything for some reason. Ah, I guess I will possess that one guy then. It seemed like it would give my position away, but okay. 
It's always a bonus. It's always a bonus. Hey guys, I gotta see the leader. Don't worry about me. Oh, they ruined it. That's bad. I can possess him or I can kill him. I mean, I'm gonna kill him first. Let's be fair here. <laughs> Nobody ever notices me choking people to death anyway. They're just like, hey, that guy over there went to sleep. That's weird. I'm just gonna do that before I possess this guy. Okay, you're mine. Good. Now find a weapon. Bruh. I had a weapon. But then those dickheads touched me on the titty. There's a weapon. You wanna grab it? Sheev. Cleek. A gun. <laughs> Everybody's like, ah, why is, do it. Why is Bob got a orders gun? Orders. What's Bob up to? His hands. He deserves to die. Come on. Yeah, but can I, can I actually this. take the shot from here? I can kill him. I can kill him. Maybe I'll walk around the side of the house. Our body is a weapon. Finely tuned one. Hey, buddy. You're telling me I can't take the shot from here? He is so in clear view. Fine, I'll try to walk through again, even though there's two people in my way, and they're probably going to touch my titty again. They just didn't this time. They were like, no, you can come in with a gun. You're fine. I mean, the orders were to kill that one open the door for me. guy. I need to confirm that Jamal is dead. Hurry. Okay. Uh, I'd call that overkill, Jody. Sure. Um, the little door. You want the little door? Okay. Infinite ammo. I mean, AK-47s, I think, can hold 30 rounds, so it wasn't too beyond the limit. One? No, that's not him. He was over here. Yeeted the door, yeah. I didn't really powerful what he wants to be at random times. Sheathed. No, baby boy! You weren't supposed to see this shit! I'm not just an angel, I'm also a murderer. Oh, is that his dad? Oh I'm a monster. He's your father. He's gonna grab a gun, isn't he? No. Yeah. Oh god. It never works. The fucking shield never works. You know what? I deserved that. Let's just take that bullet wound and go. Uh. So this is why Jody quit the job. Understandable. Dirty just took that bullet. Yeah, and I was holding the fucking bar. Oh my god, not that way. Not that way. That's not much better. Jody, turn right. Fuck. I mean, they. None of this looks good. Jesus. Okay, into the alleyway. We are fucked. We are incredibly fucked. The fact that I haven't been gunned down in the street is ridiculous, honestly. Oh, Jesus. Just got to fall through and through. This is not how you get extraction. <laughs> Heal your leg and run, Jody. Oh, vent. 
Try to... Yes, please. Aiden. Why isn't it healing? Hello? What the fuck? The controls are not... Where? Where is the other one? God, this is so stupid. There. Bring that ladder down. Now go, Jody. Oh my god. And it randomly turned itself up. I love this game. Oh, I love this game. Go, go, climb. Real quick, turn it back down. Why the fuck did it suddenly jump up? There we go. She wasn't even on the ladder. Her foot was like a mile away from the ladder. <laughs> Kick the ladder down. Or don't. Shoot. Oh, fuck me. Anytime you want to start shooting people, Jody. Holding himself and her with one arm. Oh. And she made a new super enemy. <laughs> but let's talk about some of the ridiculous shit from that. <laughs> For one thing, the controls were just bullshit. I mean, that, that's on me more than anything else. For another thing... <laughs> They would never do an extraction that public. They would never do an extraction where they just dropped down and like murdered everybody. CIA. Never seen anything like it. Final thing. His own private helicopter to get an agent back. Like she just kept getting shot. There were so many people surrounding her with machine guns. Oh my god. And he sees that as a win. Okay. Salim's villain arc starts now. Do you really call it a villain arc if it's like revenge for a murdered father? I know this one was tough, but it's over. I'm going home. It's just another mission accomplished, right? If anything, it's an anti-hero arc. I'll never forget what I saw back there, right? Never. Damn. She traumatized. That Jody was the villain in that? I mean, literally went into the kid's country and killed his dad, so. Yeah, in the kid's eyes, 100%. And used him to do it. As far as he knows, like, he helped her. He contributed to his dad's death. Alcohol should not be mixed with painkiller, but we're going to do it anyway. Also, I love this idea of the CIA flying around on like a private fancy jet rather than a carrier. Oh, God. She saved him and stabbed him in the back, basically. Yeah. She saved his life, but then used him as a tool. Ended up getting his father killed. Probably wishes he died at that point. Community had just announced its official recognition of the election of the new president, Jamal Sheikh Sharif. Jamal Sheikh Sharif, one of the most dangerous warlords in the country. I thought we just killed him. And now, sources report that he and okay. all his government were assassinated in what appears to be an unclaimed attack. You have to find Jamal and eliminate him. Why is she freaking out Hope about so this? That the newly recognized President Jamal oh, did she don't know he was the president? Put an end to the hostilities that have ravaged his country for many We years. were destabilizing the country. A number of world leaders we weren't helping already anything. expressed outrage at what appears to be nothing less than a cold-blooded execution. Which is something the CIA does. You have to find Jamal and eliminate him. 
بما زفعت ذلك فكرت وأناك صديقتي You lied to me What are you talking about? Jamal wasn't a warlord He was the president He was the democratically elected president Your And point you assassinated him We're not politicians, we had our orders You knew I wouldn't have murdered him So you lied to me Oh, it's Iden Welcome time. Welcome to the CIA, Jody. It's not fucking choir practice in case you haven't noticed. Now, we had a job to do, and we did it. End of story. This might just be a fucking job to you, okay? But I don't go around killing people because some poor fucking star general tells me to. What's going on? Yeah, this is where the escape began. In the woods. Jody, listen, listen. You calm down. All right, we'll get back home and we'll talk about it, okay? You manipulated me. You used me to do your dirty work! What difference does it make? Jody, he was a dead man walking with or without you! I have blood on my hands! Some kid lost his father because of me! A lot of kids lost their fathers because of you, dude. We were doing the right thing! What am I, me, Brian? A toy? Some fucking puppet that you can just do whatever you want with? We're getting a massive weapon. turbulence! Fuck! I can't... I can't control it! Jody, for God's sake, you're gonna kill us. No one's ever gonna lie to me again, Ryan. Fucking legend. Yeah, that seems about right. Way too convenient to <laughs> know about the news, though. Yeah. Wow. I didn't can do that, too. Why didn't we just jump out of the burning building that time, then? Wait, what? Nathan Dawkins. I thought she was just gonna like try to catch a tree or something. They used me to kill those people. That's the shield. What happened? Well, again, why did we never do know. it out the window? I, didn't okay. know. I, I was just doing what I was told. I mean, I guess why? we did jump off a train that I one time. You. That's very similar. No, no, no! I ran away. You can't run away from them. They'll hunt you down and they'll find you. You've got to come in, Jody. We'll talk. I'm sure oh, it's over. Aww. Me. Through being a toy. You tell them that if they try to find me, I'll kill them. Fuck Jody, yeah. Listen, tell I... them, Nathan. I'll kill them. That's how we begin our villain arc. Oh no, actually, I think because that time she was injured and I then lost a lot of strength. The powers are just very inconsistent. Like, it doesn't always make sense. Like, sometimes she can just randomly force choke people to death. Sometimes she possesses people. Sometimes she can only possess people for like half a second. Sometimes she possesses a dude, kills a bunch of other dudes, and drives away. Didn't kiss Ryan. Only 28% of people didn't kiss Ryan. God, these people are fucking idiots. Did they not see that shit coming? All the red flags? Avoided capture. Okay. Took weapon from a soldier. Rescued on the roof. Snuck to the cathedral. There were people who didn't manage to sneak to the cathedral. We passed the checkpoint. A lot of people didn't pass the checkpoint. Damn, they went down a lot more bloody way. 72 people are in for two red. But Ryan doesn't even have any Riz. He's not interesting at all. What? Okay, yeah, fuck the red flags. Ryan isn't even like an interesting person. He's not like a good bad guy either. I'd rather kiss Willem Dafoe. Nah. Nah, that'd be really fucking weird for Jody. Um, I'd rather make out with one of the demons than make out with Ryan though. That, that, yeah, I'll go with that. I'd have fun with a demon rather than Ryan. Fuck Ryan. Ryan's a piece of shit. Old friends. Oh, are we going to revisit the homeless people? That's the only friends I have. I <laughs> mean, if I've just left the Navajo, then yeah, the only friends I have are the homeless people. <gasps> Daddy Defoe. Yeah, that would have been really fucking awkward for Jody. I said that. And I was like, that's for me personally, though. Like, if Jody did that, it'd be super uncomfortable. Oh, no way. My old caretaker. He's so grown up now. Jody. He's aged too. He's got wrinkles. His hairline's gone back. I didn't think we'd be able to meet with them again. Beautiful young woman you've become. Yeah, she looks amazing. Just as pretty as ever. No 
upset. Aw. Like the first time I saw you. Yeah. She's starting to get wrinkles too. I wonder how long this timeline is. And how's I did? <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, good to see you too, buddy. He actually likes Aiden too. I love this dude. He's so kind. <laughs> I was worried. Be looking for you. I had to run away. Yeah, this dude's like the mommy. I had no choice. We got Daddy Defoe and we got mommy. How are you? Yeah. And you? How you doing, Cole? What are you working on? I'm running a small group. We're trying to classify types of entities, see if they're different species, that kind of thing. It's not the highest priority, but I get to do what I want. So. Aww. It's useful anyway. We didn't know anything about them. How's Dawkins How's doing? Been? Oh, he's the big boss now. He's running the DPA. And he still can't bring <laughs> me in. a long way since the days of our little lad. Like CIA. Experiments. Have they made any progress on the infraworld? Oh, they've sunk millions into developing a new condenser. The most powerful ever created. Of course, that was only possible once the army got involved. Why they sold me what the army? You about? Did you find out anything? On the day you were born, a woman named Nora Gray had a child in the DPA hospital. Her child was declared stillborn. What about? Wait, what about Nora? That's my mother then. What else did you learn about her? Is she, is she alive? Did she die? All I know is that she took part in the DPA research program. I was stillborn? She also had a gift. Father? The father? Did you learn anything about him? His name was Jonathan Nichols. He died before birth. Shit. Like Heart that. failure. That's all I could find. Declared stillborn. Yeah, they did say declared specifically. Where? Where? Now? Yeah, probably so they could just keep the baby. She was interned in a psychiatric hospital. Just yeah. She, gave birth. she probably to file, tried to tell everyone. She still be there now. She had her baby. Why? My mother's been in a, in a mental hospital for 24 years. Oh, she's 24 now. Okay. Why? What happened? That's all the file said. I'm so sorry. I've got to go see her. Jody, I know how you feel, but she's in a mental hospital. You might not get the answers you're looking for. I'm not looking for answers. I just need to see her. I mean, don't you understand? She's my mother. He's your mother. If I look her in the eye, I could find out who I truly am. Aww. She's in a high security DPA facility you're wanted by every law enforcement agency in the country. You won't be able to walk right in. <laughs> no, but I can blow my way in. It's gonna stop me from seeing her. With explosive psychic powers is what I mean. Cole is mommy though? Yeah, but we need to find our actual mommy. Okay. Find out what the hell I am. How Aiden is. You've taken a huge risk helping me. Don't you fooch on me. I corrected the phrasing. I got there before you guys even called it out. <laughs> Fight me. <laughs> a nice jacket. She's doing pretty well now. Hey. I think she's still got the CIA hunting her down. You didn't think I was going to let you go alone, did you? Ah, Emily. That smile was so genuine. You. Thank you, Cole. Yeah, he's amazing. He's got to get us into there. He'll be a good distraction. I'm glad he took the whole us possessing him when we were a teenager thing in his stride. Empty parking lot. That might have pissed a lot of people off. Yeah, they knew you were coming. Girl, I didn't come here to wait in no car. I mean, by now they would have already known he's on your side, so in for a penny, in for a pound. Come on, Jody, you can walk faster than this. Your mother's in there and they're clearly gunning for you, so maybe some haste. Mm. Not a polite 
approach. That's the plan. <laughs> hey, um, I've Kill him with kindness. Can I see your authorization? Um, plead? Can you help me out? Look, she's my mother. I haven't seen her in... I'm sorry. All visitors must have the correct authorization. The polite approach didn't work. Aiden, blow his head up. We'll just get him to press the button. That works too. Hey, we don't know what room she's in. I'm gonna check the computer, don't worry. Authorization first. Found her. Nora Gray, seventh floor, room 43. Nice. Of course, that's probably where all the enemies are. <laughs> so far, so good. So they don't remember when they've been possessed. Because he just, like, didn't even know what the hell was going on. <gasps> hmm. What now? Aiden, find a way to open that door. I mean... Yeah, we're gonna have to take out that guy first. I was like, the guard first. I could press the button, but I mean, the guard, he's just right there. Yeah, let's turn power. Oh, wait. If I turn the power off, I'm not gonna be able to activate the door, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Nice, Aiden. Now unlock the door. Come on. That shouldn't. But it did. It worked. So I'm not gonna complain. Apparently they're on two different circuits. I guess. Possess the guard. I wish I could. There must be something. I wish I could actually use the powers that Aiden has rather than the ones they decide to give me for each individual question. Ugh. Like, hey Aiden, you can, can, you know, possess him. Like we did ten seconds ago. But no. Oh, he's too far away. Damn it. Maybe if I make some noise in here, he'll come to play. Yeah. Oh, he's asleep. You lazy son of a... I need to make more noise then. <gasps> Our time, dude. Crew around a lot. Now I can possess him. Open the door for me, my thrall. Save Norman. Um. <clears throat> Holy shit! Okay. That's something I just did. Do I want to take his card? Yes, I do. Oh my god. <laughs> Sometimes we just do fucking wild shit, man. But I didn't say to stop. Oh, works for me. Yeah, I mean. But in the sleep, that's all that matters. Uh, Jesus. Crazy folk really freaked me out. Bro. Find room 43 and get the hell out of here. My mom is in here. Maybe don't call them crazy folk. That's not how we talk about this. 47, right? 38. Oh, she must be on the left side then. And sleep well now? Yeah, he gets to relax. Five. There is no 47. <laughs> this is going to be 46. Um. Uh-oh. Oh, it was 43. I'm a... I thought they said 47. Okay. 43! I found it, Jody! You are not being very quiet. And for the love of God, Jody, why do you take two to three fast steps and then just stop? Oh, we here. Oh, Jody. seventh floor, floor three. She may have lost her mind. She might not even know you're there. 
Yeah, or she may have been telling everybody they stole her baby for the last 24 years. I'm going in. Mama Cole is doing his best. Mama Cole is doing better than me. Forgot the number of the door right after they told me it. Hey, Mama. Long time to see. You want a glass of water? Judy. Oh, they got it drugged. Yeah. What? What's in that locket you got there? That's sad. She finally gets to meet her mother and she can't even talk to her. Although we've healed things before, maybe we can heal this. Help me, Aiden. Yeah, Aiden, fix her brain. Do that thing where your powers make no... Oh, we can read her mind. That works. Now we're actually using the right powers. So important you couldn't let her get away with just raising it normally. Let us take care of everything. It's for the best. You know that. Fuckers. My baby. Bring her back. I changed my mind. I want her So danger quickly. Please. Get the baby out of here. Please let me see her. I want my child. Please. She may develop some special abilities. Let us know as soon as anything unusual happens. I was given. They didn't even know that she was going to be special. Oh, you dickheads. They even did that to her. I'm sorry. It was my fault. No, it wasn't. It was their fault. Are you kidding me? And that was the DPA. That wasn't even the CIA. Was the supposed good guys? Oh, does she have a thing attached to her too? What are you trying to show me? Destroy this thing, Ivan. Oh. Destroy it now. My little girl. We fixed her. My little girl. At least in the spirit realm. Oh. At least you can talk. I was so afraid I would never see you again. I've missed you so much, Jody. I've missed you so much. What did they do to you? I mean, you just the saw that. They gave me, trapped me in this hell. Oh God. There's nothing, nothing I can do. Just wait for it to end. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you out of here. I'm gonna help you. It's too late, Jody. It sounds like she's been conscious this whole it's time. Too late. Just vegetative I love state. You. More than anything else in the world. Nothing will ever change that. Oh. Aiden could only break her out for like a tiny moment. Sounds like limbo. Yeah, because that's what that is. That was the transition between life and death. The only time we saw that before is when we almost died and we were comatose for ages. I mean, she doesn't need it anymore. 
She's not even really conscious, so that's mine now. Look inside the lock here. It has to have a picture of you. God, that flower looked really creepy. Ugh. Oh, man. Oh, we leave. We have to get out of here. They're going to be coming for me. Maybe it was a picture of a dad. I'm sorry, Jody. That would make sense, too. Oh. Maybe I just shouldn't have left. Maybe I should have just stayed forever. She's just trapped there? Yeah, between life and death. Unable to do anything. Viking ship. Oh. <laughs> My bad. Where the hell is this? I have no idea. Fancy as shit. Look at the statue. My god. Quantic Dream definitely have a thing about red and black. Every time they do a big fancy room like this, it's always like red, brown, and black. Condenser heat star. Where is... Oh. Daddy. Have I seen that snow globe before? I feel like I remember that one. Oh, this is... Wow, he traded up in offices. Holy shit. Damn, Nathan. Being the head of the DPA sure gives you a new level. Oh, man. Well, it's pretty clear he's turned to the dark side. This is way too nice of an office for any decent person to have. <laughs> you have, like, bronze fucking statue money. You're doing something evil as fuck. And that's a big bonsai tree. That's basically just a little tree. Bet he got ego. Yeah, this is the DPA. DPA is a lot bigger than it used to be. They've got to reopen the thing, aren't they? You see, I was weirded out before when he talked about classifying the different entities. I was like, so they're still planning on opening it up again. Like, how else would they be trying to classify different entities? Unless they were still finding ways to look at the other side. Well, he is played by Defoe. Defoe's not always evil. Powerful condenser ever created. Impressive, isn't it? Your hair looked better yes. before. It's good to see you. He's aged. I was afraid something happened to you. You've lost weight. You look exhausted. Yeah. The CIA's been hunting her. Let's go into my office. And apparently your guys too, since you guys just knocked me the fuck out. Please. He lost his glasses. Yeah, he had LASIK. That's a true sign of evil. How do you feel? Glasses are awesome. Um, I've been better. She does not realize how bad this is. Yeah. I'm sorry. I told them not to hurt you. I just didn't want to give you a chance to use item. <laughs> so he immediately denied it. He was first like, I told them not to hurt you, but I mean, I also didn't want to give you a chance to use item, so they had to knock you the fuck out, I mean. But I convinced them to wait for a while and watch you from a distance. Eh? So they... Eh? N Nora. What happened to my mother, Nathan? So they could have Nora, taken me in before that. He told them stable. to not. They Jeez. were afraid she was a danger to herself and her baby. My mother would never hurt me. They couldn't take that chance. Look, I was a researcher at the DPA, Jody. I didn't discover until much later what happened. Mm. About my sh fake shitty parents. Why all the lies, Nathan? And yeah, he is lying because we saw ourselves be ripped away from the mother. Pretending to be my parents. The DPA thought you needed a stable emotional environment, a 
home, loving parents, some semblance of a normal life, whatever would help us study you in the right conditions. Study me? Study me? I mean... What was I to you, Nathan? We're going to be a psychic child. Lab rat? I was just a girl, for fuck's sakes. I was just a little girl. Oh, you were the link. The link between our world and the infra world. You were everything we ever dreamed of. Now it comes out how he really thinks about her, why he cares about her at all. She's kind of slow on the so uptake. Now, she did trust this guy for like 20 years. CIA. Is that the plan, Nathan? They brought you here because they have something for you to do, and they'd be very grateful if you do it. <laughs> and if I don't do it, they'll put a bullet in my head, won't they? You're asking me to help the people who wanted to kill me? Is that what you're asking me, Nathan? Listen, Jody... Why should I listen to you? You work for them, and you lied to me about my mother and my parents, and for what? The money, or the power, or the fame? Oh, stop that, Jody. You know that's not true. Oh, I know nothing anymore. We know another country has discovered the infra-world. They think it's something to be controlled or manipulated. They have no idea what they're dealing with. Oh, here we go. If entities enter our world, do you know what that would mean, Jody? What has all this got to do with me? Because you know the infra-world better than anyone. You're going to be their secret weapon. Then I'm done with that. They want to offer you a deal. You do this for them. And they let you out, you're free. <laughs> Bullshit. Jody, do you know what would happen if a passage is open? The best scenario. Be the apocalypse. I do this for them, and they put a bullet in the back of my head the so nobody else can use me, and I can't be used against them. That, that's where we're ending this one? Really? Okay. That's bullcrap. That's always bullcrap. Never trust that shit. Took the medallion. Only 2% of people didn't take the medallion. Asked about Dawkins. Distracted the guard. Let Nora suffer in limbo. What was I supposed to do? Oh, fuck. I fucked up. Could I have set her free in a different way? Learned your father's name. At least I did that. That's a good one. Didn't explore the cells. I didn't even know I could do that. He left her alive. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking they're saying I could have ended her suffering. Oh, don't put it that way, man. I didn't even know that was an option. I should have stayed. God damn it. That's on me. That's on me. Briefing. Oh, we're coming right toward the end now. Sorry, mom. I mean, I just thought it was like a dramatic moment to like look back and say goodbye. According to our intel, the Republic of Kazakhstan has discovered the existence of the Infoworld. Found a rift, conducting experiments from a secret base located in the province of Hailao Jiang. Hmm. We don't know what stage they are in their experiments. Did you kill your mom? It depends on if she wanted it kind of thing. That means they found a way to interact with the other side. As it was, it wasn't like she was and conscious anyway. To For 24 years, she's just been in a coma. And if she was conscious for that, that is kind of fucking to torture, man. Condenser, the rift will still be there. I'd want it to be turned off at that point, but that's me. Business. But this operation will gain time to better understand the world and make sure. Yeah, we've got no a condenser. Try to use it against us. <laughs> yeah, only we can use it. Nobody else. <laughs> considerable military resistance. <sighs> Team will. Team? I swear to God, if it's Ryan. Show them in, Marla. What if they all have psychic powers? This would be a wild time to reveal that there's a bunch of different psychic children. Hey, baby. Good to see you, girl. And yeah, Ryan. Clayton's team goes with you. Small, <laughs> agile commando units. Able to avoid Dickheads. The mission begins in two days. I didn't like how they fucking introduced themselves, too. Hey, baby. Good to see you, girl. Bunch be of careful, fuck boys. Baby. No one knows what you're going to find on the other side. <sighs> like you care. I don't think I'm ready to join the infra world yet. Let's Good. be honest. The reason they're sending me with a team is to control me. Because I don't want to lose you. 
And if I actually manage to do the mission, one of them's got to put a bullet in the back of my head. It's good to see you. Fuck off. Fuck you, Ryan. <laughs> yeah. So you're angry then. You really think that you can just come back here and pretend like nothing happened? Jody, you nice. lied to me. Don't talk, so you won't have to lie. <laughs> Good line. <gasps> right. Finally learned her lesson. Adam was so right. I wish I'd killed him somehow. That's Kurt. Yeah, that was Kurt. Straight to the point. What the fuck? This isn't looking great. Hello. I don't I'm think tired of all this. I don't think the mission went well. If you refuse to cooperate, I will have no choice but to kill you. Um Aiden. Of course. I will kill you regardless. I can't summon Aiden. But it could have been fast and painless. Instead, it will be a very, very slow. I can't do anything. Death. So, I ask you one last time. Well, Who do you work for? I don't know. It's been confusing. Where are you? DPA, CIA, I don't know right now. What the f- I'm just flashing all around the place. You can have Ryan? Yeah, you can keep Ryan. I just- the camera movement, it's yeah. Deserted. Very weird. You sure it's here? We're right on top of the coordinates. The storm's getting worse. Try what digging. Do do now? Dig. Hey, Jody. Got to be under to underground. Find a shelter somewhere. You hear that, Aiden? Sure. I don't take commands from Ryan. There's a house over there. Yeah, it looks good. Got it. Let's go. Oh, we're skiing. <gasps> okay, now this is more relaxing. We in the bottom dream level of Inception. <laughs> it hasn't gotten that weird, thankfully. It's gotten real weird, though. Ugh. You got eyes and training, do it yourself. I know, right? I love these outfits we're wearing, though. They do look the best for this environment. It's fucking freezing. What are we doing here? It's just a goddamn fishing village. Our informer duped us. That's what happened. We better get moving before they. Now, this is the best place to hide inside. something like that. Three days. Walking on ice, eating snow, for nothing. Fuck! I find the asshole that sent us here. Hey! Look, I'm sick and tired of hearing you complaining. That's all you have to say, then shut the fuck up! <laughs> you guys, I'm freezing. The coats are so maybe thick. we could build a fire first and argue later. Hope it wasn't yellow snow. Why? Right. Oh, lemon snow cones Instead are the best. The storm blows over. You find yellow snow, you always have to eat it. That's special. Okay, fire. Let's burn that basket. Or oh, not. Okay, you guys start the fire. What am I meant to do? Nah, I don't want to talk to him. We're exploring with Aiden. Let me try. Let me do this for you boys. There you go. You're a fucking genius. <laughs> that wasn't him. Bad, Vince. How dare. Did you see that, Jody? Yeah. Good job. Yeah, great work, guys. Good job, kiddos. <sighs> okay, what else can I do around here? Dumbasses. I think it's cute that she let them believe that they had done it. You see that, Jody? Go good, good, good work, I'm guys. Go oh, Jody's gonna pee. Aiden's going to do other things. Oh, this is just a secret, huh? 
Yeah, just a bonus. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum. I feel like... She's not peeing. Been lied to. Okay, Jody. Go pee. But first a drink. <laughs> that always helps with pee. Oh, coffee. That'll do it. What do bonuses even do? Uh, they just give you bonuses at the end of the game. Like artwork and stuff like that. We'll have a look at them once we're done with the game. Any food? Fill up the tank. <laughs> you ever tried to drink while you're peeing? Kind of like create a whole circuit going on there. Have a water bottle up in you <laughs> while, you're, while you're peeing. Was that a C4 charge? Like, I, I was distracted there thinking about dumb shit, but did she just arm a C4 charge? Or was that like a big no, giant far, sat phone? It's minus 40. I don't plan on doing any sightseeing. You guys have never done that? Man. You guys haven't lived. Why though? Honestly don't know. Did you try it? Yeah. Oh god, this does not look like the best environment for peeing. How many times have you done that? Um, I forget why I used to do that as a kid. I just found it funny, I guess. It was like, ha, I'm refueling as I empty. Imagine how many layers she's got on right now, too. That would take forever. It's freezing. Yeah, I can't feel great. And now we've got snow cones. Now we've got the yellow snow. What's she looking at? Oh! I think we're in the right place. <laughs> Good thing we were crouched down. So about those snow cones. Oh! <gasps> She didn't pee. I've been lied to. Disappointed like the principal in Asobi Asobase. Let them run, Jody. <laughs> yeah, I was honestly hoping that they'd find my team and then I'd just be able to follow behind them. That would be good. Hey, guys. I saw them. Where? On the main road. Like a convoy of armored cars. They drove right by me. They see you? No. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Is the operative part. Oh. They might have. Well, that principle, that scene was so funny. <laughs> Let's follow them. Maybe she drinks lots of water. It's snow. It would have the color anyway. <laughs> you know what? I'm glad the game didn't program it in. We didn't need that. Honestly, though, these suits are cool. We. Come on, Jody. Pick up some more speed. It'll be fun. We need to go downhill is what we need to do. I need a skiing mission right about now. There it is. Bingo. I didn't go see what's inside. Okay. God, I'll just do whatever Jody says. Jody says matters. Submarines? Holy shit! Soldiers. They're loading crates into... into submarines. Are they going to have underwater? That means the rift is... It's underwater. That's genius. They have a base down there and they're using the subs to shuttle supplies. This is some... Bond villain shit, man. Tell Iden to take them out. Um. Iden? I don't think he can. Get rid of him. How? There's. Oh, there we go. I can possess him. Way smarter than the DPA, honestly. Yeah. 
sorry, buddy, but I gotta do it. Wait, where did that there he is? Can I just close the hatch down on top of him? That would be really good. No. <sighs> I shoot first. <laughs> he saw a dude getting shot on the camera and he just walked over like hey what's going on here <laughs> right just depending on i did a bit too much i mean he did train jody so he, he knows this shit is kind of fucked up oh, he knows how much item can be used yeah why, why do i walk like a model hold on i mean i am actually pretty good looking but still look at this walk that strut, look at the hips go. Left, right, left, right, damn. Okay, we're done. Slay? I mean, literally. We did just slay two people. For some reason, we haven't finished ourselves yet. Aw, oh, don't kill it while Aiden's in the body. Fuck, Nick. Sorry. Oh, you could give me some warning. Damn. So. It does what hurt her have? when Aiden gets killed. Just give me a second, okay? Just jump in the sub. We know what we're doing. Let's go. Only one option, really. I've piloted a sub like this on the CIA simulator. I mean, maybe we can use it. Yeah, sure. Let's use their sub. They won't notice anything. <laughs> I'm looking for a plan, not a way to commit suicide. <laughs> Fine, I'll go without you. Fuck you. Ah, oh, we're gonna change into their uniforms. What exactly are you doing? I'm finding a solution to the problem. Nice idea, but it won't fool them very long. No, but well, you just need to get past the entrance. But that fucking rift is not gonna shut down by itself, is it? Okay. That might work from a distance. Then what? We take the sub down to the base. And then we take it from there. I'll go with her. What about us? It's a two-seater. You stay here, you find us a way out. By the time we get back, there's a good chance we're gonna have to move fast. Yeah. Wait, wait that's in order, Nick. They do not the like that. Which makes me think. If we even... If we blow it up, does it even close it or does it just stay open? At least this one's underground and underwater. If they're anything like other demons and other things, they can't move past flowing water. So maybe that's what, maybe these guys are just that much smarter. They're making sure they can't come into the rest of the world anywhere. Brian gives me the ick. Yeah, I think he's up to something. Okay. We take the sub. Ryan can swim. Uh, it wouldn't even be a matter of swimming. He'd freeze to death in that water in no time. Keep diving. The base shouldn't be far. How can I control it? <gasps> Sick. I'm going into the rock wall. Yeah, I'm going to hit that wall. <laughs> Do it. Do it. No. Hit it. Hit it. <laughs> Okay. It's hard to get my bearings. So we can't crash. We know that now. That's a good start. Ryan dies here. Can we call that an accident? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure he's going to be out to kill me, so... It'd only be fair if I kill him first. Ooh, glowy. As long as the Leviathan from Dredge doesn't show up gonna be fine I wonder why they built it so far down though was it just to hide it from everyone Ooh. or is there some reason for it subnautica is that you it was very subnautica 
wonder if I no, nah, I can't hide them right now. You see the lights? Oh shit, they're gonna know it's not us by the time we even get there. Oh, uh, we're fucked. Uh, I hope that wasn't a question. I think they found it. Sorry, yeah, that was I got distracted by pretty things. That was gonna be my other question. Like, what if they didn't even build the rift? What if they just straight up found it? And they've just built this around it. That would be badass. Because, I mean, we technically had an opening to the other world in the Navajo scene as well. So it could be this one was just here. I am impressed. Thank you. Few men would have heard that for so long. I'm not a man. Maybe you should torture Ryan a bit more. Ooh, explosives. Perhaps you will be more sensitive to your comrades. <laughs> yeah, you, you should find out. Go ahead and try that. My um. questions are simple. I want to know your name. Who you work for. Knife. And how you learn of the existence of this base. That's an amateurish move, buddy. Of course, you also have to tell me what happened when you crossed the containment field. Maybe you should try taking I one of his nothing, nuts. You hear me? You know. Oh, damn. He's I'm getting going sexual. to ask the same questions over and over again until you answer them. Oh, me? <laughs> what is your name? Oh, that's a time. Oh, God. No, nah, I'm not going to tell you my name. Still can't hide him. That looks painful. That just painful. That's All a lot of blood. Answer. And your comrade will not suffer anymore. Nah, I'm good. Nah. What do I have to do to make you speak? Um, try bamboo splints under his toenails. Try bamboo Perhaps splints. That's a good one. Silent. If I go a little further. Hmm. Oh, this is gonna get rough. Did he just take a tooth? Or an ear? He took something from his face. Oh, he took an eye. Wow, this Ryan. Is so unnecessary. You only I didn't expect have to that one. This will come to an end. Okay. Answer. Now go back you. to torturing him. I hate to see people suffer for nothing. Any moment now, Aiden. Really wish I knew more of the language now. An urgent request demands my attention. I'm only understanding like the howlers. I shall return soon to continue our conversation. Okay, but you're going to continue with Ryan, right? <laughs> I'm busy. Maybe the other two guys are going to come down and save us. The accent is weird. Yeah, they're trying to... I mean... They're trying to balance it so this is a fictional now country. What? Yeah, they got into the... Oh, no, this is a flashback. We find the condenser, destroy it, and... But, I mean, it's very clearly in, like... Any idea how you plan to do I that? I guess north of China? They just gave it its own name of, like, something no. star, and they speak Mandarin for sure, right? But I'll figure something out. Accent is in. I don't think they're trying to do a Chinese accent. That's why it's strange to me. He sounds more French than anything else. Yeah, fictional country. They said Kazakhstan. No, they said Ka something Stan, but it was it was a fictional country name. Bum, bum, bum. Hey guys, don't mind me. Um, I went the wrong way. But I mean, they're gonna see me immediately. Like, like, I'm surprised that that one guy didn't just immediately see me. Kazakhstan, there you go. Jody. No, Jody, Anton, we are not. It literally said Kazakhstan. They're making a fictional country. They specifically don't want this to be a real country because obviously then it would be a problem. Okay, what do we do? What? But it... Shut up and follow me. They're gonna guide us in. I didn't got our back right now. I 
least it worked. Mm-hmm. Now find the condenser before they realize something's up. I mean, there's a giant red door over there. And I feel like that's going to be the way. Oh, and it's mixed, so it's not even just Mandarin. Oh, okay. See, I didn't even realize that. For political reasons. Well, plus that way they also just don't have to actually be realistic with things. Yeah, blending the language is a good choice. The door over there. That must be the way. Yeah, but will they let us in? The condenser's close. Ooh. The echoes coming from the rift. I feel like that's gonna knock Iden's control easy. out. I don't like it. Maybe that's why. Jody! Jody, what's happening? Is our soft got the one from uh papers, please? I feel like I've heard that name before. Yeah, he can't get through here. Damn. Get off. One button. They have an anti-ghost field. In which case, I am far. <gasps> it is the one from Papers, Please. I need to play that at some point. I've never played it. Oh, man. Okay, I've got to find my own way to deal with shit. Security room. That might help. Yes, please. Yeah, I've never actually played that one, but I've heard people say glory to whatever that place was his name before. I know, like, I was going to play it at one point, and then everyone in the end started playing it after Uki. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll play it eventually. Shit. What the Tiena? I know that one. That's my god. What the Tien? Hmm. Let's go get some food. This will surely be a good idea. Nope. Glory to... Ostroska? Ostroska. Yeah, I feel like that'd be a fun game to play. Okay, you're coming with me. Come on. Up we go. Glory to Tantan. Fuck Tantan. <laughs> I've dealt with enough ton ton in my life. Okay, we know we can't go through the I force field. I'm trying, Jody. Although I don't really know how I'm going to get to you. Um, I need to shut down the thing. That must be part of the security thing, right? So. Weapons? Weapons are good. Oh, maintenance. Even better. Hopefully I can shut down power to everything. What am I doing? Fucking weapons. No. Weapons first. Get me a big, big gun. Oh, that, that camera angle went wild. All the Donghua coming in. Help. Give me the gun. Before this guy notices. No! Son of a bitch. Did I just fail everything? <laughs> Could I not just like repossess that dude? No, no, I can't. Yes, I can. Turn around, turn around, turn around, Aiden. Turn around, turn around, son of a bitch. Come here, I need you still. Meat puppet. Turns out we have to deal with the power first. Okay. Think he was drunk walking? Ah, uh, sleepwalking actually does make sense. He was asleep there. Oh, he told the guy to stop drinking. That's right literally now? what he said? Damn. We're ruining this poor dude's career. Okay, let's shut shit down. Shove it into this machine. It'll break it in some way. Or not. Um. Maybe. What am I going to do with this thing? So I can't get weapons. Maybe I can use this to open up one of these hatches. Weapon. Last time I tried to get a weapon, it did not work. Thinking maybe we can break something right before the force field. Oh, I don't even have a security card. Fuck. 
Okay, maybe in weapons after all. But you're armed now? With a, <laughs> with a wrench? What am I going to... Oh, I'm actually going to knock him out. Yeah. Aiden. <laughs> okay. I'll trade that for a gun. And now the gun for the security people. <laughs> we're leveling up our arsenal. That's what we're doing. Okay. If it works, it works. Thought I got the wrench to do something actually wrench related, but okay. Good night, guys. There we go. Oh, he accidentally shot himself there. Oh, you really shouldn't have been drinking, buddy. You can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. True. Oh, we let the demons out. Hurry. Coming, Jody. Time to heal you, girl. Um, okay, we'll go with the lower one first. Damn, she took some damage. There you go. Get up. You made it. Of course I did. Quick. Get me out of here. Sure. Save Jody, fuck Ryan. Oh yeah, I'm not even thinking about Ryan. Ryan does not matter. Okay, back this way. Oh wait, weapons? Go get a weapon, Jode. We need to find Ryan. Oh fuck Ryan, go get a weapon. Oh, you dumb bitch. Ryan? Ryan, are you there? I can't go anywhere except back in here. Blast. Quick! Ah, fine. He's gonna shoot you in the head. Are you okay? You really wanna know? Oh, come on. At least his depth position is done. Can you walk? Yeah, I'm okay. Go back to the subs. Wait for me. If I'm not back in 15 minutes, just go without me. You crazy? But Jordan, we've done it. The base is destroyed. Let's get out of here while we still can. The rift is wide open. Entities are just going to come pouring out if we don't close it. No, it's too late, Jody. We got to go now. <laughs> Ryan's just like, ah, who gives a shit about the mission? Meanwhile, he's going to take one of our submarines. Oh, God damn it. The explosives. I need the explosives in the interrogation room. Okay, but let's get a gun first. Oh, shit. Bastard I'd like to. You are holding me back by talking to me. Oh. He wasn't even glowing red. Okay. In we go. Jody, you're walking into the... Are you... What the... It's open! Jody! Oh my fucking god. Ah, sexy tank top torturer. Was that the torturing guy? I couldn't even tell. Torturing guy looked way better with a jacket on. Her ass is too big. <laughs> it wasn't though. That was the annoying thing. She was walking forward into absolutely nothing. Oh god. Um, I didn't you want to like deal with some of these before I go? I guess not. Okay, you just do you, Aiden. Get away from me, demons. Oh, demons aren't hurting me this time. That's a nice change. Perhaps they fear me. You're going to get a diving suit on? Oh, yeah. Ooh, nice underwater walking boots too. Yo, this looks badass. Yo, I want to fuck the DPA. I want to work for these guys. 
These guys know what's up. Shit, I'm really scared, I don't... The DPA just have nice offices. Meanwhile, so god damn. Okay. I guess if Iden can go into the water, the demons can too. That makes sense. What in the Mass Effect? Right? <laughs> they have it in my colors too. Everything around this game is black and red. This one just has a lot of gray on it too. It's pitch black. There's got to be a light on this thing. Yeah, I can see it on your shoulder. One. Keep calm, Iden. I don't think Iden's too scared. It's just you, Jody. We're used to demons at this point. Demons can swim, noted. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't seem to affect them at all. They're just moving around. Well, they are moving around a bit slower, actually. But they still just float about. I was hoping it was like the legends where like vampires and sometimes demons can't cross moving water. Soma, is that you? This is very Soma right here. Walking along underwater, waiting for something to try and kill me. Oh, there's the rift. Well, Jody, I hope you're ready with the explosives. And you tried to down your dream in demons, but they've adapted. I'd love to see some whale ghosts pop up. We're worried about the normal size ghosts. Meanwhile, a fucking two ton one comes out. Let's blow up number three. Soma gave me the creeps. Uh, definitely had that feeling. <laughs> it was supposed to be a horror game after all. This one's been a bit more relaxing. Who is Soma? Soma was a video game we played a while ago. It was all about robots and what is humanity, what is life, and about the sanctity of life. It was a good game. Had some interesting ideas. Demons plus the Lassophobia? <laughs> Hello, nightmares. Ah, uh, good thing we don't go down this deep. Three minutes. Three minutes. I'm out of here. You are brave. It took you like three minutes just to get here. Let alone to get the whole way out of the entire building. Oh, God. Not even sure if I'm going the right way. Yeah, I am. Go, Jody, go. It's time to learn to run underwater. Uh-oh. Oh! There are underwater ghosts! Oh, fuck! Fuck! I'm losing her! Giant fish ghost! One, 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 one. Nope. No, thank you. Played enough dredge for one day, thank you. Fucking anglerfish looking ass. Stupid giant eel bitch leviathan dick. Climb, Jody, climb. Climb, Jody, climb! For the love of God! <sighs> Some Nordica trained us for this. Dredge trained me for that shit. No, no, no. You keep that suit. Oh, oh God. That would have been useful. You're going to die here with me. Oh, really, dude? The greatest discovery the world has ever known. Destroyed because of you, stupid American bitch. Oh, God. Oh, I dodged that and it still didn't do anything. Oh, hell no. Uh, Aiden. Anytime, Aiden. Fuck yeah. Now stab him with it. Yeah. <sighs> Why did they suddenly start pointing in the arrows? I mean, I'm not complaining. Wish they had them for the normal controls, too. Yeah, fish demon. Yeah. 
Oh, fuck. That's not a good idea, sir. Ah, <sighs> oh, I missed that one. Oh, that's not... I'll see you on the other side. I done. <laughs> Okay, that'll do. My fish friend got me if nobody else got me. Dude's a psycho. Yeah, he just wanted to take me down with him. Oh, hell no. Run, Jody, run, Jody, run. Oh, God. Fair enough. Yeah, get off of me, dude. Fuck off your own problem you guys built this shit demon fish has tentacles yep spiky tentacles super powered oh god and now we're underwater climb climb spiky tentacles aren't as fun it depends on what you're into. They don't have to all be spiky. Dodge, 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 dodge. Fuck. Nice. One, 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 one. One, two, run, run, one, two, run, run. Oh, God. Ah, they didn't leave me a submarine. Which is why you should have brought your m top. Where the fuck are you? Well, at some point you got to admit. Oh, Ryan. You didn't think I let you down, huh? You've done it many times, sir. But okay. So that only took three minutes, huh? Now we're subnauticaing. Ouch. What the fuck happened? I don't know. Shockwave killed the boosters. Well, time to swim. If the hole's breach, we're gonna drown. We're not far from the surface. Maybe we can make it to the top alive. Yeah. Sounds like a fucking good plan. <laughs> it's the only plan we've got, Ryan. I didn't can boost me. You're the one who's fucked. Okay. Bye, Ryan. Go, Jody. Go, Jody. Go, Jody. Go, Jody. Go, Jody. Go, Jody. Okay, we live. We might freeze to death, but we live. The order is freezing. Yeah, that is, uh, they got to do their best to survive. That's the thing. What else were they going to do at that point? Yeah, get the hell out of there, Jody. Oh, God. They find some shelter that might be able to start a fire and huddle together for body heat. There's a boat there. That's something. Oh, and there's some huts. Good. You've been called a lot since you ran away. No, it's okay. If you made the right choice, I would have done the same thing. Oh, I know you would have. You still angry with me? Yeah. But I'll pretend no. No. I'm too cold to be. 
Yeah, we gotta survive right now. I never had time to tell you this, but um, I love you, Jody. Don't care, dude. Sarcastic. Oh god, the lips are turning blue so quickly, damn. I wanted you to know just in case we die here. If you get moving, you might not die. Why are you just chilling? So how about you? Huh? Do you love me too? Dude, no. Freeze to death. I have Jay. I don't. Sorry. I've never seen anyone so pig-headed. <laughs> Fair. And yeah, I get it. Like, they're freezing to death. They probably can't move right now. They're too hurt to really do anything. Oh boy, is that lucky. Oh, it's them! Even better! There! It's them! And maybe they're not gonna kill us. Maybe this really is the final mission they wanted to send us on. Achievement unlocked. Eye for an eye and almost too easy. Whoa, what? It doesn't even tell me the percentage for other people. Huh. Unplayed path, refused to talk, infiltrated the base, forgave Ryan, infiltrated the base, managed to escape the base, told Ryan you didn't love him. Okay. New percentages for me this time. Where we at? Oh, we're way back to the beginning again. Hauntings. We're gonna be a baby. Let's go be a baby. Need to be logged in? I wasn't logged in for the last bunch either. Good night, princess. Playing this on PC and not PlayStation for one thing. When will I see him again? Oh, That's weird. I don't know, honey. Well, at least the internet didn't disconnect. He hasn't left his office in three <laughs> Would be days. a bad way to find out I hadn't been streaming for a while. <laughs> he loved his wife and daughter more than anything in the world. Oh, this is right after he lost his family. Damn. But we can try again tomorrow, okay? Now you get some sleep. Sounds good. Except let's be honest. It's gonna be demon time again. I turn to my left, then I turn to the right. Then I give up and wake up just like every time. <laughs> oh hey. Uh Nathan's wife is visiting me. That's not cool. You want me to Okay, I'll come with you. Or is this his daughter? This one's his daughter. Hey, I'm gonna be your daddy's surrogate child now. That makes us sisters. You wouldn't hurt your sister, right? All the doors are unlocked for some reason. <gasps> Ghost footprints. This is cool. I'm gonna be honest, your teleportation is kind of cheating. Which room is this? Okay, I'm coming. A1322. This is directed really well, this scene. Oh, maybe I can tell him what his daughter wants to say to him. Jody. Maybe you should take the day off work, here? dude. Late. Go back to bed. Doing here. All this alcohol crying your eyes out. You getting paid to be here, sir? Because...
Oh, I'm gonna read it. Don't be sad, Teddy. Yeah, nice. What did you say? It was so quick. Mommy couldn't do anything. But it didn't hurt. Stop it, Jill. It didn't hurt at all. You hear me? Stop it right now. We're here, Nathan. Oh, God, that's creepy as shit. We're right by your side. Come on. Laura. We love you, darling. We'll always love you. Oh. Talk to me again. Jody. Make them come back. Make them come back again. I can't. They've gone. They passed over. Please. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. And they'll always be with you. I miss them so much. That would be really relaxing though. You actually hear the voices of your loved ones from beyond the grave. At least you know there is something beyond the grave. That would change your fucking outlook on life, man. She's just a child, yeah. She can't control that. She just gets to pass on what they want to say. She learned a new thing about her powers that day. Black Sun. So I guess we didn't manage to destroy the rift. Because if I remember, the prologue thing was like demons basically taking over the world, so... Condenser in the Republic of this is gonna get bad. ...destroyed and the rift is now inaccessible. We are now the only nation with access to the infoworld. Lovely. This situation opens up new strategic and military <laughs> Yay! Use the ghost word for military things. ...discover possible energy resources and develop military Yeah, I told you guys, Kazakhstan, not a real place. We've already found ways of linking entities to human Made it very obvious the general location it was, but it's fake place. Now, this is more important than the race to space for developing nuclear capability. We have discovered a new world. They're trying to use it a to make energy. I love it. <laughs> a world for us to conquer. This God damn it. Is the beginning of a new era <sighs> for our nation. I can't wait for the demons to eat your face. I'm glad this chapter is called Black Sun. Y'all are fucked. Maybe Jody's even gonna open it up. Maybe she's gonna be like, you know what? Fuck humanity. Oh, punished Ryan. What are you doing here, buddy? Would have thought I made it clear you're not welcome around here anymore. Pentagon top brass getting you down? Mm. Cynical. Ugh. Big boys and their new toys. <laughs> yep. I preferred to leave before barfing all over their carpet. <laughs> yeah, we played our part in all of this. Manipulated. Yeah, we were manipulated. And different. It's a little late for regrets. Be cool about it. What are you going to do now? No, far away, normal life, friends. I want a normal life, lead. damn it. Go somewhere far away. And Only 24. Just try and lead a normal life. And still save myself. And what about you? CIA has it all mapped out for me. Top tier, big car, golf <laughs> meetings. Good for you. I haven't given him an answer yet, but it's worth considering. Gonna have a desk job. Listen. Hua Chong wore it better? Of course he oh, did. Yeah. He's Hua Chong. I know it's been complicated. He wasn't a dick. Us. And I, I didn't always do the right thing. No, you never did. But maybe we could start again. No. <laughs> you know, try and build something together. I've got actual friends out there. I mean, after all the stuff we've been through, maybe we could make it work. Uh, refuse. You lied to me. I could never trust you again. Mm. Break that trust, it's gone forever. 
I'm sorry, Ray. Just do it again. I understand. Go enjoy your Whatever cushy you military do. job. Just remember, I'll always be there for you. Please don't. Ah, there you are. Nathan, hey. you. Come on, I'll take you to his office. Later, Ryan. Oh, you know what? I got a single malt in my office that needs sharing. Meet you in a few? No, I, I don't think I He's can. friends with Ryan? Don't make me drink it alone. Waste of a good bottle. What? I'll tell you what, I'll find you, okay? <laughs> this way, Jody. Why? <laughs> cool. No. Red flags. Don't waste your time with this douche. Fuck Ryan. Why is he still in my life, damn it? I'm a core too good for this world. Yeah, he is. Decisions are hard to make, huh, Jody? Uh, sure. This one's always decided for me. It's time I make my own choices. Just do what your heart tells you. Then you'll know you made the right decision. Oh, that's a nice way to look at it. Frankly, I'm just happy all of humanity is about to die. I'll finally get to sleep. Someone being a friend is good, but not good for dating. Ryan wasn't even a good friend, though. That's the thing. <laughs> God damn it. At least Ryan was useful. I really thought they were going to betray me on that final mission. It, it could have gone worse. Not this door? Not this door. It's a really standout door. I, I, was, I thought that would be the office. This one that looks All exactly right, the same? We are. Yeah, it is. Call me when you're done. I'll come pick you up. Okay. Ryan's just a co-worker. Yeah, there was a weird power dynamic going on there, too. Whatever Nathan says, be careful. Oh, he's warning me about Nathan. Shit's getting real. <laughs> also, the giant swirling shit behind me is getting so much worse. Okay. Hey, have you been driven mad with power or are you like going nuts because you want to see your daughter and wife again and that's why you want to open so the door you so you're kind of desperate to do it something bad's about to happen i kept my part of the bargain now it's the cia's turn set me free right As far as the CIA is concerned, you no longer exist. Oh, let's go. Did I die in mission, AIA? Oh, the new identity. That works too. You're now Elizabeth North. No <gasps> North. identity and no life. It doesn't end well in Detroit. Five hundred thousand dollars, not bad. Five hundred thousand dollars. For services rendered. Could have gone for more like three million, but okay. Yeah, no, honestly, that's enough to buy a really, really beautiful house and just settle down. Oh no, I'm accepting it. <laughs> you kidding me? Get the fuck out of there, Jody. I did the work. I did the job. Before you go. Oh, uh, here we go. There's one last thing I'd like to ask. That's cheap. I mean, for all the secrets she knows, yes. But for like when my a military contractor, nah. Wife and daughter disappeared in that accident. Oh no. 15 years ago. I wanted to die too. I cried a lot. I remember you were being a little bitch. Banging in my head against Drinking. the wall, trying to figure out why, why, why them. Never being able to hold them again. It was like a wound that wouldn't heal. But then you came along, and I realized he became obsessed with the afterlife. I'm still here all the time. Near me. Oh, they literally passed I on. I just couldn't see. Oh, you poor man. The 
Finland gave me everything I needed to study the infraworld. They were interested in military applications. I was interested in seeing my family again. Yeah, I figured. It's taken me some years. But I finally succeeded in creating this. They don't look happy, dude. You've trapped them between worlds, my man. Hello, my darlings. Helen. Laura. Oh, I miss you so much. I got to see them every day. Set them so free. I'm working on a modified condenser that can communicate with the souls of the infraworld. Speaking with the dead Jody, can you imagine? What do you want from me? I want you to help me talk to them. I want to hear their voices. I want to tell them what I'm doing. Until I finish my research, you're the only one that can do it. Um, I'm gonna accept it this one time. But they're gonna say what I'm gonna say. You're a fucking monster. They're in pain. Very clearly. Just start screaming. My darling. Well, they're not even there. So much. Let us go, Nathan. Okay, yeah. You're hurting us. You've got to let us go. Let us die. You. You're lying. Helen did say that you did. You're keeping them here. They're being torn apart between two worlds. That, that's not true. You're lying. I know they want to be with me again. I Look know they want to be with me. Look at their faces, my dude. Reason. They're suffering, Nathan. If you love them, if you if you really love them, you've got to let them go. You can't cheat death. Cheat death? Death is nothing. You hear me? Nothing. Well, then maybe I should kill you and you can be with them that way. Goodbye, Nathan. Yeah, fuck this shit. Although I would set them free first. God damn. You find peace. Uh, Aiden, maybe take out that machine. They're screaming for us, Jody. Fuck. He thought about it. Although what he's probably actually thinking about is I can't let her go. She might be my only connection to the other world. Oh no, I want to set them free. Let me in. Let me in. <laughs> That's so many levels of fucked. Oh, I am inside his office. I don't think I was supposed to be able to get through this door. I think I just pressed tabbed at the right point. <laughs> His model is just frozen there where it shouldn't be. It's just waiting for something to happen. <laughs> um, You guys didn't see that. We're, we're fine. We're... There we go. That's where I was supposed to... Yeah, you're not supposed to be in that room. <laughs> okay, that was cool. <laughs> we glitched our way in. Can I glitch my way into this room? He's just standing there. Yeah, he's just chilling. Nah, that's unfortunate. That would have been cool. I can just glitch my way through walls. Breaking games again. <laughs> Out of bounds things are always fun. Look how evil their condenser looks now. It's so huge. A giant standstorm. Standstorm? Sandstorm of evil energy. Ugh. Where the hell am I going? This place is massive. Is this? Yeah, this is an elevator. First the hair and now this. I mean, that one was much cooler. I like him just... Fuck me. 
You need to stop letting people hit you in the head, Jody. Hi, Jody. Oh, hey again. Evil man who wants Good to, to take over again. the world. Well, you put us in a very difficult situation, you know that. Oh, you mean by agreeing to your terms? We can't let you go. We can't kill you either. I don't know what you'll do on the other side. So there's only one appropriate solution. They're gonna do to me what they did to my mom. We inject you with a neuro acid, which will put you in a permanent coma. Fucker. Exactly what we did with your mother. Aiden! A simple and elegant way to put an end to our uh, collaboration. Goodbye, Johnny. I'm gonna we kill you. will always be grateful for your help. I'm gonna kill you. Very painfully. Then I'm gonna free the family. Then I'm gonna shut down the condenser. Aiden! Arrogance, I know. He's so proud of himself. An elegant solution. Jody. Really? You opened my eyes. It was so obvious, but I didn't want to see. You, you on my side? I'm going to accomplish man's oldest dream. Oh no, he's still Nobody crazy. We'll have to die anymore. No one will ever be separated again. Fuck. What are you? What are you talking about? The containment field. I'm going to deactivate it. The infraworld will spread through our dimension. Life oh. and death united in one world. Lovely. It's not just souls on the other side. It's death. I've beaten death, Jody. Bruh, no, you have not. It's gonna be just fine. You need to trust me. <laughs> Anything. You need therapy. I'm fine. So much therapy. Oh, fuck me. Aiden! Any time, Aiden. Maybe, Jody, wiggle your arms a little bit. Oh, that. Oh, that was creepy. Put me in the ceiling for some reason. Yeah, please, destroy this. Oh, I'm low energy right now. I can't do shit. Um. You're too weak, Aiden. Yeah, I can't even disconnect things. Find something else. Uh, something small I can do. Get help. Get help? Oh, I know. I need. I need Mama Cole. Hurry. Mama Cole. Oh, Mama Cole. Um. Where's the rest of your team? Vince and Nick. <laughs> oh, good thing you guys are drinking. Three months leave. They're on a beach on some exotic island, no doubt. Lucky guys, bastards. Please. Quit talking and talk to me. Hey, I've got a couple of emails I need to send. You mind if I do that before we crack the bottle? No problem. Yeah, I'll fuck with your keyboard a little bit. Yes, please. Um, uh, Cole. Ryan, be useful for once. I'm not fucking around with you for no reason this time. Phone call. I'll talk to them. Cole here. Hello? Come on, read the signs, Cole. Hello? Going nuts here. You two should know what this means. Bruh! I got no power, but I'm doing my best. You keep entities in this lab? Good God, no. They're all trapped behind the containment field. I'm too used to it. I mean, they shouldn't I'm be. Yes, Aiden. Is that you, Aiden? 
Yes. This is a joke. It's not funny. Not a joke. Serious problem. Be you? I'm here. What is it, Aiden? Where's Jody? Down below you. Lead us to Jody, Aiden. Ah, uh, okay. just the way. Yeah. Uh, um. D this way. Right. Now where? Oh, good. They can just follow me. This way. This way. Okay. That oh, way. There you go, boys. Okay, I get it. Come on. Go through the door. There you go. This is pretty cool. This is a good use of Aiden's powers. Want us to take the elevator? Is that it? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, minus four, I guess. And be ready to fight, because they're not gonna want you here. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have let them take one of Ryan's eyes. This way, guys. Oh, nice. Literally says this way. Leave it to me. Can I help you? Mama Cole, killing them with oh, kindness does not always work. Authorization. He's with me. This is level four. I'm sorry, Mr. Freeman. You do not have the correct authorization for this level. Maybe you could make an exception. I just want to show him. Sorry, sir. This area is level four classified. You do not have the right credentials. But what if I did? I didn't do the thing. You gotta get us past Maiden. Why does it load in like that, man? Desk 42, hello. Hello? Cole Freeman. Hello. There you go. Okay, go ahead. I got it. He's done it. Yeah, check again, bitch. Clearly, you don't you know who I am. Check again, please. Cole Freeman, and Ryan Clayton. Oh, I didn't do Ryan. Oh, well, that'll work. Sorry, you are on the list. My apologies. Um, I didn't can type here, but he couldn't previously. Thank you. Um, I think it's just because he's weak. Right, Take us to Jody. Like now that he's getting like the closer he gets to Jody, the stronger he gets. Is it that way? Yeah, it's that way. This way, boys. Something moved. Do do. Can't move any further. That away. Right. Now where? Um further, I guess. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pop it open. Jody's here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it safer. Straight up broke it? Yeah, he fucked that one up. <laughs> it would be... Imagine if they couldn't even open it. Oh, Nathan. He's going to deactivate the containment field. What? Why? Why would he do that? Uh, insane. Yeah, he kind of lost his marbles. He's going to get his family back. We got to stop him. Or we could just leave and let it happen. Oh, it already happened. Well... Containment field. Oh, Christ, he's done it. He's done it. You need help? No. No, I'm okay. Okay. Yeah, let's just get where we need to go. This way. Hurry up. We need so many explosives. Ah, the demons are back. 
They're having a busy couple of years, man. Or demons just want to chill. Okay, you guys get out of here. still be a chance to reactivate the field. It isn't already too late. Are they still trying to shoot demons? They're all out! Oh god. <laughs> okay guys, chill. Oh, they have like anti-demon barrier fields around them now. That's new. Fuck you, dude. You're the goddamn monster. I ought to kill you, McGrath. But the last thing the InfoWorld needs is a son of a bitch like you. Get out of my way. Oh. Get me out of here immediately, Clayton. Agent Clayton, that's an order. Fuck you, punch him. <sighs> yeah. I'm gonna go save Clear the world. You're all gonna die here. Not before you. You're all gonna die. <laughs> anyway. As motivational as that was. <laughs> Aiden, you wanna? Nope, can't use Aiden. Just get me down there. We know that's what's gonna happen. That was satisfying. Yeah, it was. Ryan just redeemed himself quite a bit. Come on. Or not. There's one more thing I can try. Okay, now we're gonna get out. <laughs> hurry! We're out of time! I wish I could hurry, but Jody takes like two fast steps and then relaxes. What are you doing? Ooh. The portable containment field. Should protect me long enough to reach the condenser and trigger the manual self-destruct. Might be our only chance to close the rift. Long shot. It's the best I get. That's cool. Became Ghostbusters. Nah, I'm going with you. Come on, Jody. Get it. Jody, no. Paul's right. It's our only chance. Right? I always figured I'd die a hero. Aww. You know what, Ryan? You're forgiven. We're still never going to fuck you, but at least you're a good dude. Okay. Protect Mama Cole. Sacrifice Ryan. That's my plan. The Black Sun is at the center of the dome. No one's ever been before, so there's no telling what we'll find down there. How much time do we have after we've activated the self-destruct? The system was designed to be activated remotely. Ah, oh, so it's just gonna go. The explosion will be practically instantaneous. Oh, we're all dying instantly. Lovely. We're not coming back. Fair enough. She never got to live a normal life, man. She earned it. <sighs> okay, let's go, Ghostbusters. Really? Are we gonna be doing the zone is on military the mode? Door. We've got company. The 500k, I, I know, that. right? It's our only chance. Jesus, I hope you're right. Or a little trip into the infra world might come to a sticky end. This music is intense. Oh. Joe, don't get too close to that. Oh, and here I was planning to play with them. Attention, over it Let's go. Uh, Aiden. Oh, I guess not. Okay, I'm just gonna let them eat people that aren't my friends. This is fine. Still can't do anything about this. Up we go. Oh, 
I don't like their mouths, man. Oh, God. This is fine. Yeah, this is acceptable. There'll be a couple of demons. Just a normal Monday morning for me. No! Why not Ryan? Get him, get him, get him, get him. Go, 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 Indeed, fuck, fuck, fuckity, fuck, fuck. No, you're fine. Sorry, princess. No, containment field. You're gonna have to go on without me. Containment field. No way. I'm not leaving you. Fine. The black sun, Jody. This is bullshit. Aiden. Make healing power. He's right. Come on, Jody. Yeah, heal, please. <laughs> well, we healed him as best as we could. Aiden has done all we can. I guess even if we succeed this, he's got to blow up along with us anyway. <sighs> Got us through the first gate. That sucks, though. And he's the only one who took care of us this whole fucking time. The black sun. Let's finish this. Hey, Ryan, feel free to sacrifice yourself anytime, bud. Like you genuinely did care, yeah. Didn't lie to us the whole time, just tried to protect us the entire time. Okay. Lovely giant smoky tentacles everywhere. Oh, Akunohana. For what? Afterlife does not look fun. Don't listen to it. Keep going. Who are they? Lost souls, I guess. Souls. People with lost souls. Things keeping them attached to Earth. Well, they're not touching us, so who gives a damn? Getting close to it. Mama? My baby. I lost my baby. Have you seen him? Not Mama. No. No, I... Wow, she gave up easy. Ryan? Oh God, we lost Ryan. God, you're so useful, Ryan. Uh, I really thought that was our mom. Did Ryan get distracted by a lost soul he knew, maybe? Well, I'm glad he came with us that. Hey, I'm gonna stay away from you since you have a gun. I can't find them. Bruh. I them, but they don't come. You have them trapped, you idiot. Blame. Fuck you. Around, Nathan. Lost souls like you. Lost forever because you can't face the truth. I miss them. So I join them. them so Turn that gun on yourself, you idiot. Move. Maybe there's still a chance to stop this. I thought that meant like move on. I know it's not what you want. I know it's not what Helen and Laura would have wanted. OK. 
Come on, Willem Dafoe. Yay! Not helping us, but he's not stopping us. Yeah, I figured. Uh, I'll go find them now. Oh, look at you being all respectable. How, how did he get the happy you? ending? Fuck that shit. I missed you so much. No. They should be pissed at him. You're the only one who can fix this, Jody. You could have helped me five seconds ago. Do it for me. For you. <laughs> Fuck you. What does it look like happened, Ryan? Uh, Come on. What other puzzle pieces do you need? Gun in hand, bullet in brain. Oh my god, what the fuck was that? Making it all her problem? Yeah. And for some reason, he got the happy ending. All three of them were just like, oh, we're not lost anymore. We're a family. Sure, he had us tortured and unable to move on for so long, but we still love him. We still care about him. And he's not lost anymore. He's got us. And he's just like, oh, oh, by the way, now that I have my family, maybe don't let the whole world collide thing happen. Fuck that, dude. Here's a good jump. More jump. Oh, keep rolling. Just keep rolling, 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 rolling. Ryan! Maybe you could, like, shoot them with a spirit gun. Okay. Whoa. Oh, God. Piss off. Aiden, anytime you want to start blasting ghosts away, I know you can do that. Fucking monsters. God, this damn belt would be dead. Attacking us only why? Because they, they know. They know I'm the one who can deal with them, and my one's broken. Ryan, you know what to do. Give me yours. No, it's broken, dude. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I gotta think. Think of something. Yeah, you know what to do. Only one person has to get to the center of this thing. You stand the best chance of destroying the Black Sun. Just take this and do it. Oh no, those things are gonna slaughter you. Take the damn belt and destroy the fucking condenser. It's nice of them to not attack us while we're having this conversation. Fuck you, you don't get a kiss. I get out of here before I change my mind. You could still come with us. Why are you... What? You're gonna die over there instead of coming over and dying while trying to protect me? Okay. Fair enough. Have fun dying over there, then. This game is making so much less sense as it goes on. Get off of me, we lost souls. Inject you with a neural acid. Oh, you died. Good. Put you in a permanent coma. Exactly what we did with your mother. It's too late, Jody. No, it's not, Mama. I got it's this. Too late. Come on. So close. That wasn't my real mother. She's already... Well, no, she's trapped between two planes of existence. You're not supposed to be dead. Didn't take that bullet for you to somehow die. Come on, Jody. Yeah, I'm just continuously getting younger as this goes on. Oh, that scene. Every reason I should let humanity fucking die. One, one, one. I'm gonna go back to being a little baby by the time this is over. I'm sick and tired of your stories. Jody, this time you're really gonna get it. Yeah, well, you're a shitty dad. 
didn't deserve child. Ow, my forearm's getting tired. <laughs> Is it going to give me the option to just be like, you know what? For God's sake, what's going on? The twin. He strangled them. I didn't want the stillborn twin. I want to see my son. Man, I fucking called that shit. And then I didn't believe that shit because he looked like an adult. My twin. My brother. That's, yeah, that's why we've been attached that whole time. And that actually worked out. That gave them a body they could use to prove it was a stillborn as well. Make the mother really look crazy. Oh, this is beautiful. Brother? We couldn't leave each other. Our souls were bound together. I want to see him. Give him a voice. I loved you. And hated you for years. You were a part of me. Aww. He wasn't being possessive in a weird way. He was trying to protect his sister from shitty Cole. Not Cole. Shit. Shitty Ryan. Cole's awesome. Oh, he gone. Never got to see him properly. <laughs> so she just realized she wasn't alone after all. Oh. Literally beyond the two worlds, but uh, between the two worlds right now. Um, I'm going to go to the light world if that's okay. Yeah. That way, please. The other side. Oh, the that's world. the other. Oh. Coming the wind, the stars, the universe. Forever. What's the other opportunity? I guess I don't get to go back no matter what. Is this moving into the infra world? Feeling. Being in love. I love you, Jody. Growing old. I love you. So many things I still have to do. I don't love him. Stop trying to make him my love interest. I mean, I want to live, but fuck Ryan. Uh, 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 I want to live, but not with Ryan. What the fuck? Maybe I go beyond. Life is dark. I love that. Like, yeah, life is painful and everything. Um... God. You know what? Jody deserves to have a real life. She hasn't had a real life yet. You can't give up yet. You have to go through life. You'll get to the beyond eventually. Life. Live. If you can. I mean, technically, you should be exploded right now, but you're being given the option. Take your $500,000. Go live a happy life. Ignore Ryan. Go find Jay. And go find your family later. Maybe I didn't even got to cross over. Yeah, because he disappeared, right? and protected us. We're alive. 
We lived, bitch. We lost Aiden. Aiden? Yeah, it looked like he disappeared. Yeah. And she did say, everyone I've ever loved and Aiden when she was looking at the beyond. Jordy, we made it. Yeah, I think Aiden sacrificed himself to protect us with the shield one Aiden? final time. He's gone. He's actually gone. She can be a normal girl now. <laughs> All oh, right, after she found out he was actual family as well. <laughs> he had one bit of family. Just a tiny bit. That base is huge. Yeah, I mean, they had a big, big open fracture or whatever they called it. This better not be where it ends. I want to see Aftermath. I want to see me go in to visit Jay. I want to see the homeless people come in and live with us. We're going to start raising a family on the farm. Ryan's going to just disappear. Is that it? <sighs> Took the CIA money. Why would you refuse the CIA money? <laughs> Refused or postponed Ryan's declaration. Good. Killed Cole. Good. Ryan survived. Uh, choose life. There was an option to not let Ryan survive? How did... Anyway, chose life. Took the CIA money, convinced Dawkins, took his own life. Uh, shut down the Black Sun. Okay. There's also an option to die and not shut down the Black Sun. That's kind of wild. What about Cole? I mean, it says I healed him, so hopefully... Now we get an ending scene with Cole? Epilogue! There we go. Okay, show me. Ryan better barely be in this shit. Oh, log cabin, that's nice. Probably spend like $125,000 on this. Still got like 375. She got a teddy bear. Has been disintegrating. Oh, losing her mind? I spent too much time on the other side. Now it's eating away at my mind. Fuck, so we still lose. Everything what's left of it. My memories are all confused. Slowly self-destructed. Fading like a dream when you wake up. I'm losing my sense of time. What oh, damn it. I no longer know what happened before or after. Everything's playing inside my head at the same time. It's like watching the same film looping over and over again. A chaos of images with no order. So I've been writing night and day for weeks. Trying to put my life down on paper. Oh. If I forget everything. These pages will be my memory. So, yeah, the, yeah, I was going to say, you guys have said it too. Continues. The out of order timeline is because she's just remembering it as she can. Lives on a Pentagon military base. Well, that was Pentagon? Holy shit. That the authorities are working hand in hand with the investigators to shed light on this appalling tragedy. Appalling. Frankly, fuck them. Alone for the moment. I suppose they're too busy building another condenser to worry about me. <laughs> they're going right back to it. Lovely. <sighs> I know they have to abandon their experiments. Now that they know what's on the other side. Honestly, I don't give a damn. Good. Now I need to reconstruct my life. My life without Aiden. For as long as I can remember, I dreamt of living without him. Untied, without his constant presence by my side. Now you have it. I got what I wanted. Now you just cry all the time. I've never been so unhappy in my life. 
Dude. I feel like part of me has been amputated. I'm crying all day. I know it's stupid. It means you still have your memories. That's good. I miss him so much. Cole? Cole lived. Oh, why aren't you with me? You're supposed to be my mommy. What'd I send him? <laughs> That's cute. So I am quite the artist. Oh, I'm glad he's out there happy. It took months. Months of nothing passing by. Did I actually remember everything? And I woke up. Oh. I knew it was time. Time to start again. Yeah, let's go. Build a new life. Oh, we could go live with Zoe? We could be with Zoe and the baby. Oh, that's kind of adorable. Jay was awesome too, but I mean, we saved Zoe and the baby. Oh. Is Why not Zoe and Jay? <laughs> I like them both. Fuck. Okay. Pros and cons. Jay lives out in the middle of nowhere. Saved his life. Lots of spirits still out there. Um, Jay was cool. Zoe. Zoe was awesome. She had a baby. I saved her life. Saved all the homeless people's lives. If I'm with Zoe, it's possible we stay with all the homeless people too. That's more friends. And we can raise a child. Oh, God. Jay is fucking hot. I mean, not wrong. Not wrong. His brother really liked us too. We got pretty close to him. Fuck. Jay has a farm? Yeah, but Zoe has a baby. That is a cute. Zoe is the baby of Tuesday. Oh shit, yeah, her name was Tuesday. Zoe was the baby's name. Whoops. Okay. Hmm. Zoe. So obvious. Deep inside, I, I always knew. I just needed the silence around me to hear what I was feeling. Go. Cool. I told Ryan I couldn't see my okay. with him. <laughs> I thought they just were immediately like, nah, I'm I've kidding. You get Ryan anyway. Times together. Times I want to forget. Yeah. Fuck you, Ryan. He said he understood. That he'd wait as long as it takes. Yeah, you can keep waiting. I know I felt something for him. It just wasn't strong enough. Good. Am I gonna have to see... They took me in when I was alone. Okay. And all I could think of was dying. We had to say goodbye to Ryan, but not to Jay. They shared the little they had without knowing me or judging me. They need to put more respect on Jay's name, man. down, I knew that my place was there. With them. Aww. Stan does odd jobs here and there. <laughs> Stan literally stopped us from killing ourselves, man. Yeah, no, this is good. behind a bar and Walter looks after little Zoe. They're not rolling in money, but they manage. No, oh, they're one huge family unit. That's fucking adorable. I never told them about my past. And they never asked. They you need to know. Who I am. Yeah. Just some weird chick who talks to spirits. <laughs> Zoe took to me like we'd always known each other. I mean, you had. Literally There's since she was born. Whatever big sad eyes that reminds me of the little girl I once was yeah give her a good childhood I knew she was different from the moment I saw her oh she got powers 
We haven't talked about it, but we both know we have something in common. Oh, raising the next generation. Maybe that's because I delivered her. see things at night. Terrifying things. Oh, so the prologue was actually a skip way forward in the future. I myself it's only nightmares, but... They're going to open up the portal again. The only one who can save the world is a little girl. Zoe. I have to prepare her. I know I don't have much time. Once Pandora's box is open, it can never be closed again. No. It's not nightmares. It's what is about to happen. God damn. Why do they always set up these games as if they're going to have a sequel? <laughs> that was a really... Hmm. Next time, I'll kill everyone. Damn. A lot of stupid things happened in that game, but I still had fun with it. If they let me reload, I'm going to see what the J ending looks like. Because I don't get how... How did they get to that epilogue in otherwise? And there will be an episode two. Oh, God, no. This came out 10 years ago. Quantic Dream went on to work on two other games. Most recently, Detroit Become Human. But they also... Like, they did it with Detroit Become Human, where... Like, a lot of the endings ended as if it was like, anyway, part two might be interesting as well with, like, evil robot uprisings and evil government agencies and shit. They legit raised Zoe to be a little soldier. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, basically. It turns out we're not raising her to have the childhood we wanted. We're raising her to save the world. Ugh. This is interesting, though. Hmm... Good game. Continued in fan fiction, the best way to do it. She had a def decent ending, at least. <laughs> Jody. He's always in good hands. Yeah, we'll raise her right. Save the baby, save the world. But, 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 Aiden? <laughs> yeah, Aiden gone. Although, that's interesting as well, because she talked about still being able to see spirits. And Zoe still instantly felt connected to her. So, I mean. It seems, sorry, I'm just going to turn that down a bit more. Um, bum, bum. Uh, now it's just got no sound because I minimized it one time. Oh my God, this game. Um, anyway, <laughs> God damn it. now it's just got no sound. Fantastic. Um, uh, what was I saying? Words. Uh, bleh. I don't remember. Elliot Page is a really good actor in this game. Yeah, he was because Aiden's gone doesn't mean she doesn't have any other powers. That's what I was saying, right? <laughs> yeah. She still seems to have some of her psychic powers. Um, and the baby does as well. She just isn't connected to Aiden anymore. Um, she can probably still like see ghosts and everything. She just can't do like the telekinesis and the possessing and the moving around rooms. Interesting. Interesting. Her mom had psychic powers without an Aiden. Yeah. It was just the fact that, like, hmm, Aiden was just a random lucky thing as well. I mean, not lucky for him, not lucky for them. But the fact that it was a stillborn baby with another twin ended up connected to Jody. They didn't even, like, plan that. They just planned on, like, the fact that it was two different psychics having a baby. Aiden was the DLC. <laughs> oh, my God. Maybe Aiden went inside Zoe, maybe. No, I think Aiden just passed on from the way they said it. I hope so, anyway. I don't want to think about like him still sticking around. I think Aiden deserves his rest, just like Zoe did. Zoe. Just like Jody did. And unfortunately, Jody didn't get it, because that ending was still like, oh, by the way, they're going to open another rift, and now we have to train Zoe to save the world. <laughs> Aiden would likely have had powers too, yeah. But instead, he ended up tethered to her as a spirit, unable to connect to the other knife. Interesting. Wish we got more info on her dad? Yeah, we never had any idea. He just died before she was even born. Aiden may have his own powers that Jody can use when they're connected and she'd lost when he's gone. Yeah, I don't think she has his powers anymore. Like, I don't think she can possess people or do any of that stuff. The telekinesis. I think she can just do, like, the things she could do herself where she could, like, touch people and see things and 
see ghosts by herself and see the demons a lot clearly than other people do. Try every ending fool except for Ryan. Yeah, fuck the Ryan ending. I'm not sure how the alone ending would work. I kind of want to see what happens if I just cross over to the other world. I'm skipping these credits. Can I skip the... Oh. We can't skip the credits. <laughs> Fair enough. God, they really got to make me watch these like three times. Uh, what does C... At least the J ending. Does this mean Aiden was the more powerful twin? No, I think it's because he's a spirit. Like, he can move through other things and he can possess. He can basically do the things that the demons do. But I think that's because he doesn't have a fit physical body of his own. Like, he probably would have had the same powers of Zoe. I don't know. We didn't actually meet Zoe. Jody, God damn it. But yeah, I don't know. We didn't actually meet any other psychics while they were still alive. So who knows? Hmm. I think the other endings are really different. Maybe other characters won't have psychic powers. That's what I'm questioning. Because, I mean, they really connected this to the prologue. But I wonder if just, like, they change it so that there's just no Zoe in the epilogue otherwise. We'll find out. We'll find out. Stuck in the credits like a never-ending list. <laughs> well, he was a psychic kid and Jody was a vessel. Huh? I don't know what you mean by that. Why did we even have to say goodbye to Ryan? They did go through a lot together, to be fair, and he still was in love with her. Like, I'm fine with them saying goodbye. It was just, it was kind of weird to me that she said goodbye to Ryan, and then even though Jay was an option, she never, like, said goodbye to Jay. <laughs> Since they gave, like, a big, like, hey, here's your goodbye with Ryan, I was expecting them to also have a, like, and then I went to visit the farm, and we're still really good friends. Like, I said hello to Jay and his little brother, and then we moved on. It was great. Created by Quantic Dream. I know, guys, I know. You can move that anytime. Well, Maria and Mercedes from the Infra World. I know you're watching me. Oh, that. Whoa. That's pretty deep. The sound is still off. What the hell came? Epilogue choice. Choosing, Zo choosing Zoe, Zoe was only 15%. There are other options? Wait. I had Ryan alone. Zoe. J yeah, okay. No, those are all the ones we had. At least we know Mama Cole was okay. Yeah, it was good to see Mama Cole. I continue. Yeah, we just start back on the epilogue. Perfect. Do, do, do. Yeah, we're just going to watch this movie again, essentially. <laughs> uh, uh. <sighs> Did we only have four? The black sun was Alone, Ryan. My memory has been okay. Sorry. Oh yeah, that is only four. Spent too much time on the Maybe, yeah, someone we got killed. Maybe I Nathan. My mind. It wouldn't be the grandpa. What's left of it. Hmm. My memories are all confused. Go live with farm boy? Yeah, we'll find out how this ending goes. Fading, I wish you could, like, speed up. I'm, losing my sense of I'm not gonna bother with the alone one either. I'm just literally gonna do the J1 and then I'll finish. Or after. Secret ending? Afterlife was what I was thinking, but you can't really choose that here. Like, you're already locked into the decisions you made in the past, yeah. So yeah, it must be like maybe you were able to keep Nathan alive if you said the right things or something. Chaos of images with no order. So I've been writing Scared to turn it back up. <laughs> okay, let's see. Don't break my game again. Okay, good. If I forget everything... These pages will be my memory. Bum, 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 bum. Time for me to brush my wall before seeing Jay. Okay, JJ. <laughs> Being down bad. It's Jody's man. I hate Ryan. Yeah, we all do, Aiden. Don't you worry. Nathan should have gone down. <laughs> I, I couldn't believe how happy they gave an ending for him. The fact that he just like yeeted himself out and was like... Anyway, fix my problem. Yeah, for me, it's like, for fuck you, dude. <laughs> I suppose they're too busy building another uh, to worry about me. They raise a sheep. I know, I know. I yeah, know brush your wool. Be all pretty. You can live on the farm yeah, with Jay and Jody. <gasps> Jay and Jody. Jody and Jay. Jay, Jay. Cute. I don't give a damn. Good. We never saw what was inside her locket either. I guess it was just a pendant rather than a locket. 
It looked like a locket to me, but she never opened it up, so I guess it doesn't really matter. I wonder if they're going to raise a baby in this ending and use that to save the world. I dreamt of living without him. Untied. His constant presence by myself. But did the 500k survive? If the 500k didn't survive, she wouldn't be in this beautiful log cabin with that California king size bed. Yeah, the money survived. <laughs> Surprisingly, the CIA was start was smart enough to stay away from her. That's interesting as well. Crying all day. I know it's stupid. Shit. They make you work hard to see these epilogues, man. Like how you added so California. Much. Yeah, I gotta reference the song, man. The thing you lived forever is gone and you're sad. Who'd have thunk? I mean, it did make her life hell for quite a bit of her childhood, especially. Oh god, the suburbs. That's its own form of hell. Look at how many people are on that street. Talking to each other. Being friends. Yuck. Mama Cole again. Yeah, Mama Cole can continue to be happy. I'm surprised there's not an ending where we just get to chill with Cole either. Like, not romantically, because he's Mama Cole. But just an ending where I'm just like, you know what? I have $500,000. I'm just going to buy a house next to you if that's cool. Or at least close enough. Maybe that's like the alone ending. Months of nothing passing by. And I woke up. Damn, she could have skipping stones. There is 24 possible endings. Wait, what? Build a new life. I mean, I know there's like more than they suggest, but damn. Okay, J number two. So obvious. Let's do this. Deep inside, I I always knew. I just needed the silence around me. I am glad with what we actually got. Up. I hear what I was feeling. Like the Zoe ending was damn good. I didn't know everybody was going to be there, but I'm glad they were. Ryan future hopefully as they earn more money they'll be able to branch out a bit not all live in the same house but still be like super close friends that shit's adorable he said he understood that he'd wait as long as it takes yeah keep waiting bitch i know i felt something for him but i felt much more for jay just wasn't didn't take much just being a decent fucking person and not lying to me okay here we go Having non-cursed land must be nice for a change. <laughs> Although we did take away the grandma and the daddy. Oh, she got her motorbike back too. Let's go. I never remember. Like, I just assumed that thing like broke down wherever she left it. <laughs> like the next city she got to. Ah, oh, the pose. He's like, nah, you have to come to me. Cute. She got a nice leather jacket to go with the bike. He's gonna get very awkward for this kid. <laughs> oh god. Suddenly he's sharing a farmhouse with a married couple. <laughs> oh damn, he isn't even wearing underwear. No. Oh, they're happy. The bro? Yeah, the bro. Oh, dude. Good, Good thing that leg was twisted to the side. Holy shit. That was fast. I mean, not really. They don't really like shown their interest. Uh oh. What are we being cursed by now? Why are we crying? Iden? Wait, no way. We get Iden in this ending? Still here. Brother. You came back. Oh, good for her. It took her finally getting some dick 
for Aiden to be like, nah, 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 I need to stop this all over again. <laughs> Aiden showing back up again like, mm -mm -mm. not with my sister. Sorry, Jay, you're out. Terrifying things. <laughs> so yeah, I guess she's fighting this alone now. Not alone, she's got Aiden. Once Pandora's box is open. Is Jay already dead in this timeline? Wait. No. It's not nightmares. It's what is about to happen. Okay, Zoe ending still best ending. I've died twice already. I'm not afraid of death anymore. A badass line to be fair. Eh! <laughs> My brain! <laughs> but Jay just doesn't like show up with us. Um. When the dick's so good, it brings back your dead twin. Tasty medleys, goddamn. <laughs> Jay's still napping. Or he just didn't make it. Or maybe Aiden eventually scares him away. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, anyway, who said that? That was Tasty Medleys, and that was really fucking funny. Okay, I'm good. I'm going to just... Ah, ah. That's enough endings for me. I, I don't need to see the other ones. If I could rewind easily and do like the... Oh, it actually kept the sound this time. Fair. I still can't exit out of it. There we go. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let me put some music on. Do, 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 do. Uh, we won. We beat the game. We have completed the journey. No, not that one. Oh. There we go. <laughs> like, that one's a bit sad for this. Watch the other endings? Yeah, I could just watch them. It's a shame we can't watch them together. I want to see what happens if you go into the afterlife. That seems like a fun one. And we didn't end up with Ryan. <laughs> Not once. Fuck Ryan. I couldn't believe in the ending when they were like, oh, but if I choose life, I could live. I could love. And it shows Ryan and it's like, the fuck are you showing him for? <laughs> when did they think that? that oh, 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 they really... Tried to set that up to be the main love interest and just no, just no. <sighs> we like Ryan as a friend, I guess. I mean, yeah, he, he betrayed us a couple of times, but in the end, he did genuinely have our back. Um, He saved us at points when he didn't have to. And then he was kind of useless at the end as well. I like how he like he gave us his protection thing. And then he just like stayed in the ghost area, but like didn't help us push forward. That makes zero sense. He wasn't even a good friend. I mean, like he trained us. He came back for us when it was the submachine, th uh, the submachine, the submarine thing. He stayed with us when we were freezing to death and shit. Like there are a lot of chances he could have been worse. Essentially, he he was decent, D decent, <laughs> possible. That was a strange choice. There were a lot of strange choices in that game. Ugh, it doesn't matter. It, it, it was a fun ride. There were fantastic moments in that game. There were also so many weird moments in that game. Um, God. And there were so many things I wish I could have done different. I wish I could have saved the grandpa. I wish I could have done whatever weird thing we could have done to the mom. Where we could have like relived her memories and shit. But yeah, first ending the best. I liked the ending with Zoe. We literally adopt a child for ourselves. We train her to be a super psychic baby to save the world. It's good. It's good. Aiden, I will always love you and be by your side and watching you. <laughs> no, that's the one bit thing he wouldn't do. That was when he popped back in and he was like, oh, by the way, I'm still here. So, you know, maybe, maybe, tell, maybe tell Jay to put some underpants on because I'm, I'm still here. Still here. <laughs> oh, my God. Zoe is a Nepo baby. Uh, no, no, she came by her out, her powers, honestly. She has powers that we did not give to her. Aiden coming back when she's doing the deed. <laughs> oh, God. No, 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 no. 
Maybe it's because she's a vessel between life and death then. Maybe she just got, you know, impregnated. That's when, like, changelings and things appeared in mythology. <laughs> oh, God, terrible. Aiden has good time as usual. Aiden being like, ah, man. <laughs> Aiden showing up like, ah, family. My family. <laughs> I've chosen this too. I like the idea that Aiden just doesn't show up otherwise as well. The fact that he probably that then could have shown up on the Zoe ending, but he was like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> I don't want to deal with this shit. Like, she's got a baby now. She's going to have to fight against the other world. Ah, go for it. That's on you. <laughs> I'm sleeping. I don't want a relationship too. Oh, he had many options when we were on the Zoe path. <laughs> Jay, I just joined, so I'll have to watch the VOD, but whoever Jay is must be a nice guy. He's a good dude. He's a good dude. It was a happy ending. Ren5, Otsufu-chan, congrats on completing all the endings. Thank you. Thank you both for donating the food funds. I hope you I have to go. I have a good stream, everyone. Have a wonderful evening, and thank you for joining us. I hope you Please rest well. Take it easy, and we'll see you next time. Hopefully, I'll have a schedule up by tonight. Oh, it's kind of important that I do. I might have to just leave things off of the schedule. Oh, yeah. He's a hot, moody guy. He wasn't even that moody beyond like the beginning and he had good reason to be moody at the beginning. He was, you know, fairly enough pissed off that somebody just randomly showed up and started breaking every rule they gave to her. She showed up on the farm. She was like, please, yes, I would love some water and some food. They gave it to her and they were like, OK, we'll even give you somewhere to stay tonight. Just, you know, don't open the fucking door. And we immediately opened the door and started running around. <laughs> Chan being torn between Jay and Zoe for the first end. Yeah. I was like, do I want her to have a really hot boyfriend? Or do I want her to have a baby and a whole bunch of family members? I mean, I would have been fine, honestly, if it was just Zoe and Tuesday. They just lived together and had like the other people as friends. But the fact they all lived together, that shit was great. I found Folger in three EN schedules. Yeah. I've got two collabs this week. Um... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's what's annoying. Um, here we go. Sassy Leslie, thanks for the stream. It's my birthday, and I'm glad to spend it by watching your stream. Hope you have a great day. Stay safe and stay blessed. Thank you for donating the food funds and happy birthday. What is this avatar? Adorable. <laughs> I was like, are those giant sunglasses? Or that's just a really weird art choice. But happy birthday, Sassy Leslie. Thank you for joining us. I hope you enjoyed the stream today. It was an interesting one. There was a lot going on. <laughs> oh my God. I can't believe I never once. No, I did once. I once successfully did the shield. Every other time I just got destroyed whenever it asked me to do the shield thing. It made it clear a few times too. By that point, I just didn't know what the fuck I was supposed to do. And never we really went over the controls. So I was like, I clearly don't push them together, but pushing them apart doesn't work either. I don't even know. I don't even know. Are you even going to tell us when and where you're going to have a stream? Nah. Nah, I'll just not tell you. It's not like every day so far, I've literally been updating you a full 12 hours before on Twitter and putting the waiting room up. I mean, nah, nah. Yeah. <laughs> Pixie, Otsufu. Never thought Beyond Two Souls is such a fun game. Enjoyed it a lot watching you play with Menace Aiden. Yeah, Menace Aiden was fun. Being able to use our powers to really try and destroy shit was so fucking good. Oh, man. Every time I actually got to do that, I was just like, okay, let's burn things. Let's burn things. <laughs> we didn't get to burn enough, though, unfortunately. Schedules are a privilege and not a right. Um, the schedules are useful. It's just literally I'm waiting for two things that are on Friday and Saturday, and they're pretty much what make the schedule. <laughs> I haven't gotten a response about either of them yet. They're both just like, hey, just wait. They will know when you know it's kind of thing. Miss Jerry Lawley at Fugushi. You made this playthrough so fun, Futsan. I'm so glad we all collectively agree that Ryan sucks. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought there'd be some... Because normally even when there's a character I hate, there'll be like a couple people in the comments that are like, hey, he's a good boy. You need to be less mean to him. And it's like, with Ryan, everybody just seems to universally be like, yeah, no, fuck that guy. Honestly. <laughs> Fuck Ryan. It was so weird. And that whole thing, like, they met when she was, like, at the oldest 17. 
because she definitely still wasn't like beyond 17 she was still like being called a child and everything and then he started to train her he must have been like minimum 24 kind of uh, and there was the power dynamic thing where he was her direct superior it just it just wasn't good man she chose a lot of terrible terrible options <laughs> Oh, man. But then they really tried to force Riot on you, which made it even more bad. She was like 15. That's what I thought she was. Like that first, when they first accidentally lost control of the ghost thing, like the CIA basically took control of her immediately after that and started training her. And he was the one who trained her and then continued to go on missions with her. It was just meh. And he lied to her to get her to kill someone when it turned out the mission was completely different from what he said it was. I looked it up. She was 18. Oh, so she was 18 when he met when she met Ryan, who's 37. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so 19 years age difference. <laughs> Just under 20 years. At least she was 18. He says sarcastically. Yeah, that's pretty fucking bad. He was 37. And they went until she was 24. So that's six years forward. So by the end of that story, he was 43. He looked really good for 43. I'll give him that. <laughs> I'll give him that. Maybe he's 37 at the end of the game. Is that what it is? It's like he, he was 31 when they met. My age. He met an 18 year old. Oh, God, bro. Ugh. 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 Whatever the case. Yeah, fuck Ryan. Fuck Ryan for real. <laughs> Man did a lot of look 43, 47, uh, 43. No, he didn't even look 37. Honestly, he looked like 32, 33. But I guess that's the power of like not having to have wrinkles in video games. Anyway, thank you for the stream. No problem, Miss Cherry Lawlia. I had a lot of fun with this game as well. Thank you for donating the food funds. Have a wonderful evening and please rest well. Moo Otsufu-chan. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the stream today. Moo, thank you for donating the food funds and have a lovely evening. He looked good, goddamn. He did. I'll give him that. <laughs> he reminded me of an actor, but I can't really think of who. Not like a super famous actor, but like a, a TV actor who's been at a few things. Oh, God. I can't remember what, though. I feel like it's one of the alien ones. But I can't even remember the names of those. It was the one where they're like, they, they called the alien skitters. I remember that. And they had like back braces that would turn people into alien monsters. Anyway, I, I felt like I knew the actor, but I'm not sure where. I'm probably going to look them out later. Maru Maru. Bah. Atsufu. I hope there was an ending for us staying with Mama Cole. I know, right? Thank you for the stream. I, I just wasn't bothered to load through the entire credits again. And then that intro again to see if the alone one ended up with Cole or anything. I'd imagine the alone one was just like even without Aiden as well. Uh, the fact that they didn't show Aiden at the end. Like in the epilogue was kind of weird to me as well. Supernatural? No, I wasn't supernatural. I, I said an alien invasion one. Hmm. I definitely can't think of it as any of the supernatural characters either. Anyway, thank you for donating the food funds, Maru Maru. Hope you have a wonderful evening. It's a very forced relationship, but my younger self fell for it. That's a very like simple dynamic to like fall into, really. Because it is like, it's the position of power. It's the superior thing. And let's be fair here. J J Jody had daddy issues as fuck. <laughs> Jody had like no support in her life other than a few men who were way older than her and continuously left her. And then suddenly she was pushed into the arms of a 37 year old man who was training her and telling her she was weak and like beating her down. And then, but also being encouraging to her and she managed to find her strength with him so it's a very simple way to fall into that relationship it's just ugh, i don't like it he treated her like shit he lied to her a bunch he continuously used her and he only started to change his colors really towards the end of the game she sure has daddy issues i mean yeah don't we all on some level <laughs> thank you for donating the food funds maru maru I'm glad you enjoyed the stream, and I hope you have a wonderful evening. Really not great, though? No, really not great. Audi, tomorrow is my birthday, but I have to work. I didn't know if I can watch any streams, so I'm very happy to enjoy this story today. Thank you, Fuchan. No problem. Happy early birthday, and thank you for joining us today. Hope you have a wonderful day tomorrow, celebrating it, and I hope you have a great time. 
Also, he's boring as heck too. Yeah, he wasn't interesting. I just... Okay, so Ryan is 37 by the end of the game. Okay, so he was 31 when they met. He was 31 and she was 18. <laughs> it doesn't get any better, man. <laughs> it's like, okay, that's slightly less of an age difference. Still fucked up. Even with just like the direct superior in a fucking military situation. Fucked up enough. Oh my God. Anyway, I just didn't like him. That's the thing. They could have at least made it hot. Like if you're going to go for that route, at least make it someone who is sexy and does like the degradation part well but then also does the change of heart part well. Like, oh, the Quantic Dream have gotten so much better as they got better, uh, uh, as they went on. <laughs> oh, I said it at the beginning, like, yeah, I'd fuck a demon before I'd fuck Ryan. And those things didn't even have real faces. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. It was a fun game. It was just a 10 hour long game. We had a fun time blazing through it. <laughs> you shall get a hot boyfriend and Aiden comes back. Perfect. <laughs> Yeah, Aiden's like, man, if he gets to have a brother, I want to have a sister. That made no sense either, since he had apparently crossed over. And he doesn't show up in the other... It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I guess at that point, they were just like, they didn't expect you to watch multiple endings. So they were like, let's just give you a little bit of happiness in each one. Like They give you like having Zoe as your baby, essentially. And being trained to save the world in that one ending, which I still think is the best ending. Then with the J1, they were like, uh, maybe you need a bit more fun than it just being three people on a farm. Yeah, you can have Aiden back too, I guess. Sure. The sibling rivalry was so strong he came back. Yeah. Maybe he brought a ghost wife with him too. <laughs> That'd be funny. What if he brought... <laughs> What if he was like, hey, I'm back. And by the way, <laughs> I was really pissed at Willem Dafoe and I didn't want him to be happy in the afterlife. So I brought his daughter with me. I brought his daughter with me just to fuck with Willem Dafoe. Yeah, we're going to have fun. Oh, man. That'd be good. Fuck Willem Dafoe by the end of that game. He was so nice for so much of it. that it turned out he was just using us and tried to end the world for his own shit. He had a futan. If you like this game, maybe next you can try Dark Picture series. We can't, unfortunately. The stories are very interesting and you'll like it. I know. I've seen people play the ghost ship one. I forget the name of it. Um, I think I watched Jacksepticeye play that. But yeah, I I would want to play those. Because I do love these types of games. It's why I immediately jumped on the quarry as well and I've played all the Quantic Dream ones. I like these kinds of ones where you just like make choices. Even better if the control system is good. <laughs> The control system makes so much sense in some of them. <sighs> the Until Dawn thing, where you had to like keep the PlayStation controller stable, was the only silly thing they had, in my opinion. <laughs> Everything else from that company, like, yeah, they do really good. Oh my god. First your soul and then your daughter. Exactly. He went evil and the game rewarded him for it. Yeah! <laughs> he literally went evil, tried to take out the entire world. And then just immediately took his own life and was just like, Oh, I'm a good guy now. Save the world. For me. I'm going to go with my family. But <laughs> it made no sense. It made no sense that he just got to be happy after everything. Didn't try to help us. Didn't have any redemption arc. That would have been an interesting one. If he had been like, You're right. What have I done? And then tried to help Jody to shut everything down and lost his life in the process. But then get to be with his family. That would have been fine. Redemption arc, reward. Instead, he was just like, eh, I'll just take the easy way out. Oh, my family still loves me. Awesome. You know what should have happened after he blew a hole through his brain? His family should have been pissed at him. Should have been vengeful. Should have dragged him down to hell. That would have been a good ending. That would have been better. If they were just like, Nathan, what have you done? You had us tortured here for the last 12 years. Now it's our turn and you just like attacked him. That would have been great. Or if they were just like, you're disgusting. You tortured me and your daughter for years. We want nothing to do with you. The fact that they just accepted him back was like, okay. I like Willem Dafoe too, but come on. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I would love to play that series of games. We can't, unfortunately. I would love to. Uh, thank you for donating the food funds, Ihada. Kim... Oh, I'm going to have to learn how to pronounce this. Sorry. I know Nguyen. So maybe Nguyen Trung? 
Um, Kim Nguyen Nguyen Chun. I'm going to translate it anyway. See if Google Translate will help me on this. Um, bu -bu -bu -bum. Kim Ngân Nguyễn Trung. Okay. Kim Ngân Nguyễn Trung. Kim Nguyen Nguyễn Trung. Trung. Kim Ngân Nguyễn Trung. Trung. Oh. Kim Ngân Nguyễn Trung. Kim Ngân Nguyễn Trung. Sorry if I'm still butchering that. My mouth doesn't make those sounds. But thank you for donating the food funds. That's so sweet of you. I did my best. That's that's new pronunciations for me all over the place. Otsufu Chad, thank you for the stream. Tomorrow is my friend Pui's birthday, so I sent this in advance in case you want to stream tomorrow to wish them a happy birthday. I'm glad you wished them a happy birthday. <laughs> thank you so much for donating the food funds. The way you worded that is very close to breaking one of my rules, but you didn't quite break it, so that's good. <laughs> I hope you both have a wonderful day tomorrow. Thank you so much for donating the food funds. And yeah, we will be streaming tomorrow, but yeah, always interesting to see if people will be able to show up. Um, worst case scenario, I'll put out my Twitter thing to tonight just saying what we're doing tomorrow. We might actually move Fata Morgana to tomorrow. Because the thing we were got to do on Tuesday is something I probably should let you guys have some preparation for. So maybe Wednesday will be better for that. Um, we were going to do the decorating my room thing tomorrow. But they still haven't given me my schedule. So. <laughs> yeah, maybe we do Father Morgana tomorrow because that way uh, people just like not many people show up to Father Morgana. It's more like a thing that I'm essentially doing for myself now. I love it too much to stop. Um, so yeah, maybe we do Father Morgana tomorrow and then we'll do the decorating my room through on Wednesday or maybe we'll just bring out a schedule. Yeah. If I haven't gotten confirmation tonight, I mean, that's all we've really got. Like, Thursday I was going to take off. So, I mean, those are the other things other than the collab I've got on Wednesday as well. God damn it. Excuse you, I'm super exist. That's what I mean. Like, I, I do. the people who like Fada Morgana love Fada Morgana. And me too. I'm addicted to it. The storyline is freaking incredible. But it's such a long series that it's basically like gotten to the point where nobody new can join in because there's already nine parts out and each one is like four to six hours long so yeah the people that are watching father morgana show up every time love it and love it a lot but yeah like no new people show up so it's one of those things where it's like yeah i'll put that in like any day <laughs> so far behind on father morrow that's hard to catch up exactly what her papa said it's just like that it's like hard for anyone to catch up at this point and if you try to watch it in the middle of nowhere you're just like who are these characters? Why is everyone crying? I don't get it. <laughs> this is true. I'm stuck on VODs. Yeah. It's like anytime I, if you fall behind on Critical Role, it's like you either need to catch up on that shit by like two weeks time or it's just gone. It keeps going for like hours and hours every week. And you're like, oh yeah, I guess that's gone forever. I don't want to catch up on like four parts of that. I'm so busy as it is. <laughs> I actually just started watching it about three streams ago and yeah, I enjoy them. They're really, it's it's honestly best visual novel I've ever played. One of the best stories I've ever been invested in. And because it does go for so long as well and there's so many twists and everything that I'm pulling out, it's like, it's been great. Uh, yeah, that's why I was going to do it on Wednesday because it should be a pretty short one this time. Um, yeah. You know what? Okay, by the end of the day, I will have a schedule out no matter what. Worst case scenario, it will just have Friday and Saturday blank for now. So I was just really hoping they'd actually, you know, give me my schedule, but it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> oh, God. Ukeisuke, thank you for donating the food funds. This one didn't get grabbed by the comment grammar. I'm sorry. But thank you for donating the food funds. The message was just two emojis. And Fuyu Papa, thank you for donating the food funds. There was no message on that one. <laughs> I hope you're having a good day. Thank you so much for joining us today. Please rest well and have a lovely evening. Okay, yeah. Whatever works for you. Yeah, I figure at least that way, like we'll have Tuesday and Wednesday ready and then we'll have a break on Thursday and... Oh, God. I mean, if they, if I don't get what I'm supposed to be doing on Friday and Saturday, I guess we're just going to have a short break because, like, I didn't have anything else planned, so... Sorry about the rule. Oh, you're good. Don't worry about it. It's okay. You didn't totally break it anyway. It was just like, it was like a suggestion kind of thing. Asifu-chan, thank you for the stream. I enjoyed both streams. Good night and have a great day ahead. You too. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, I liked this game. Like I said, it's fine to like things and know that they make some stupid choices. <laughs> it's fine to like things and still be critical about their content. I can be very critical about a lot of the content from Beyond Two Souls. 
And at the same time, I can still be like, yo, it was fun though. I had a fun time. It was a lot of good scenes. There were some great horror movie moments. There were some great action movie moments. There was even some great drama moments. There were some really over the top moments. <laughs> I enjoyed a lot of them. And then there were also like a lot of things where I was like, I really have to sit through this right now. This weird thing where she's falling in love with this dude. And, oh, I don't want to kiss him. Push him away. How dare. <laughs> uh, and the controls. Yeah. The camera angles were crazy. They set it up in a very cinema, cinema, cin cinematic, cinematographic, cinematic, cinematic way. <laughs> like they know how to make movies. They know how to make things look cool. Honestly, if Quantic Dream just became like a digital, like 3D animated movie pr maker, like oh, 3D animated series would be even better. You could do like they, that could have been a perfect 10 one hour episode each episode series. Do cinematic, not for game. <laughs> I think they've got it down to a science by like Detroit Become Human. I didn't have any problems with Detroit Become Human. Because in that one, you very rarely like actually walk around. Most of it is just like cutscenes where you're pressing buttons and choosing choices. You don't have to walk around too often in that one. And when it does, it doesn't do the same thing as this one where it cuts angles continuously. And so you'll be running forward on a train. And then it suddenly cuts to like a side view and like suddenly you're pressing forward is pushing you left to move off the train. Ah, oh, Connor's best boy. Um, Hank's best boy. No, sumo best boy, fight me. Sumo best boy, then Connor, then Hank. Everybody kind of cool, everybody kind of cool. Alice best daughter. Luthier, Atsufu-chan. Even if game control is weird and the plot hole makes me go like, what? But I love seeing you play this game so much. Yeah, same. So much fun to see which route you'll take. And poor Ryan. But he has two red flags, so bye bye him. Yeah, two red flag and not in a fun way. He was just boring. Unnecessary. Uninteresting. Not sexy. Not fun. Just weird. Just a weird, weird choice that they really tried to focus at. If that's the thing. If they let you like move on from him as well, it would have been super easy to just get away from that shit. If it was like, oh, here's Ryan. He's kind of a douche. You can like abandon him. Great. I would have been done with him by like chapter three. But no, they kept bringing him back right until the end and even had him be one of the reasons that apparently she wanted to stay alive. And it was like, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> there are so many good reasons to stay alive. <laughs> you may hire. Thank you for donating the food funds. No message, but I hope you enjoyed the stream today and I hope you have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much for being here. Just a man with well-made abs. Yeah, and he didn't even show them off. You know how I had better abs? Jay. Jay had a way better looking face. Eva Jamfish. Otsufu-chan. Really enjoy watching you play this game and it's really fun to have been through all the bruh with you and confidence. <laughs> Bye, you. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. There was a lot of bruh. That was also a lot of good moments. Thank you for donating the food funds. <laughs> Anton. <laughs> Don't forget I have a comment grabber. <laughs> I'm not going to put you in the shame corner because you're not wrong. It's just... <laughs> they made that very clear at the end of the game where they were like, Hey, here, here we go with like Jody wearing underwear, but Jay on the other hand, nah, no underwear. You need to see what you're getting. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, I'm going to head to Streamlabs and then we're going to wrap it up pretty early again today. Um, well, sorry we have been wrapping up things quite early recently. Um, it's more just because I've been a little tired. <laughs> There's been a lot of things going on in the background, which you can probably figure out since there are like lots of moving pieces in this week's schedule and shit. But I'm doing my best. We'll be back to full power soon. Hopefully. And then we won't be running away at the end of Zatsu Dance. Um, oh, okay. This one says not to read it out loud. Oh, they've even hidden their name. Okay. Thank you so much to Passerby for a very huge donation and a very sweet message. And thank you for saying not to read that one out. It's all written in simplified Chinese, but it's a very, okay. yeah, but it's a very sweet message. It's very kind, and that's cool. Thank you for donating the food funds. I hope you continue to enjoy the streams in the future. And do not worry about it. I completely understand that. I'm just happy as long as you're happy. And thank you so much for supporting me anyway. 
Uh, oh, don't worry. I was able to translate it. <laughs> so, no, it's just, yeah, yeah, I was able to read it. Don't worry. It was like written in very simple, easily translatable for me. So that's great. Ihara, I'm looking forward to what you'll end up with in Beyond Two Souls. Like psychology. Can know why the reasons for your decisions. Hmm. I hope not. <laughs> that's kind of what they try to do in one of those Dark Anthology games. No, it was, a it was actually Until Dawn. It's the one we did play. Where they're constantly pretending they're psycho psychoanalyzing you and they're being like, why are you afraid of this thing? Why is it you don't like to do that? Why is it you do like this? Like they do that throughout the whole game and it's like, is this building to something? But it doesn't, which is sad. I really hoped it would. Like when the doctor was asking you questions like, are you more afraid of snakes or spiders? That was like choosing my options. I was like, oh, does that mean th th like th the thing I said I was afraid of is going to appear? That would have been so cool. If a game like ever asks you what you fear more between two things and then puts that thing in the game, that's fucking nice. That would be great. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food fund, Zihara. <laughs> Hope you have a wonderful evening. Thank you for joining us. And yeah, don't psychoanalyze me. I don't even understand me. Why are you scared of women? Good question for a lot of people in the world, honestly. <laughs> and then they immediately start throwing the mommy issues at you. Oh, good. They asked me why I'm afraid of women, and I'm like, yeah, I, I'm i terrified of women. Uh, especially scary, monstrous, ghosty women who can, like, slam me up against a wall. That would be terrible. Or like a big, big buff man um, with his chest showing. Not like Pyramid Head. Pyramid Head's a bit too far for me. Um, I don't know. Or maybe like a monster man. Um, One of the characters in, like... um. What's that game that I... Oh. Touch Starved? Yeah, maybe like one of the men from Touch Starved. That would be horrible. That's my worst fear. Surely you wouldn't put any of those in this game to hunt me down. Oh, heaven forbid. Out of character. Monster Prom? Yeah, Monster Prom's a bisexual dream. That works either way. <laughs> Out of character. Good day, Fuchan. I'm at work, so I wasn't able to catch up on the gaming part, but I'll watch the VOD later. Hope you and everybody had a good day slash night. I did. I hope everybody else did as well. Thank you so much for donating to the food funds. Rest well. Have a lovely evening. And you still have the peach avatar. How dare. <laughs> God, that's been stuck there for a while. Thank you for donating the food funds out of character. I hope you do enjoy the VOD. It was a good... Uh, it was an interesting ending to the game. It was a good game overall. <laughs> Snake lady from Warlong. Oh, God, I want to get back to her soon. I need to power up myself and destroy that snake lady. It's been so good. Have you seen the trailer? Yes, I've seen the trailer. <laughs> yes, I'm working on it to everybody who's asking the question. <laughs> yes, I love the rendition by Dan Avedon. The song sounds great. Oh, man. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we shall see. Um, Cassedia, thank you for donating the food funds. Um, No message, but thank you so much for being here. I hope you rest well. I hope you enjoyed the stream today. And thank you so much for donating the food funds. That's so sweet of you. And we have more Batsu. Oh, yeah, we have tons of Batsu for the wheel now. I think we have something like 25 different Batsus. We came up with a bunch of ideas at the end of the last Warlong stream. So, yeah, whenever we play Warlong again, the Batsus will be back. We're going to go back to every 10 deaths. Every five deaths was just for the end of that last one because I didn't feel like we'd had enough deaths. <laughs> we hadn't had enough Batsus. And then it locked me into two goddamn streams in a row. So yeah, we'll do it every 10 deaths and hopefully we'll get back to playing all along again soon. If we're allowed to. Almond Pocky, thank you for the chill and entertaining stream. This game has just the right amount of silly and over the top plot twists. And I loved hearing your commentary. The streams are always a fun way to start my mornings. Otsupu chan. Thank you so much, Almond Pocky. And thank you for the huge donation of the food funds. That's so sweet of you. Yeah, I love this game too. Honestly. It was silly. It was dumb. The powers kept changing. <laughs> like, I remember the first time we found out she had, the, like, the force shield thing. And it was like, oh, that's cool. That came out of nowhere. And then it turned out she could use it to break her fall from jumping out of a goddamn helicopter. Which she could have used in other ways way, way, way more often. Like, I'm sorry. If you can fall from any amount of height and just be absolutely fine, do that shit more often. It's so cool. No David Kuhn voice? What? Oh, it would only be five minutes of anything. That that was one of the Batsus on the list. We have so many Batsus. Not enough deaths. 
I... The first time I played Warlong, I died 80 times before I even beat the first boss. <laughs> so yeah, when by the end of the second playthrough, we were only up to 120, I was kind of confused. I just seem to be getting better at the game. By the next time we play it, the sad thing is I'm going to be terrible. That's the sad thing. It's been like three weeks without me playing Warlong. <laughs> I'm going to get back in and I'm going to be like, what are the controls again? Oh no. <laughs> That was where we needed the Batsu wheel. Too bad. <laughs> Honestly, if I'd never gotten past that first boss, I, I, I just think I wouldn't have continued the game. Like if I, yeah, it took me three hours to get past that first one. So if it had gotten to like the three hours bit and just been like, okay, I'm stopping for today, I probably never would have played it again. <laughs> Batsu guaranteed. I'm sure there'll be like more Batsus to have like. A couple of the bosses, like the snake lady has actually been very hard so far. Even though we had that one giant, it was a giant white monkey boss, right? No. I forget what it was. I, I think it was a humanoid creature. That like we killed without dying even once, which was amazing to me. The like, the dude who threw flames. The very eldritch looking, like dark necromancer kind of thing. Destroyed us quite a few times, even though we were powered up. The confidant was good. The confidant killed us a bunch as well. Yeah. Although I still largely blame that on my so called assistant throughout that fight. Dying so quickly so many times and not being able to distract him most of the time anyway. God damn it. But yeah. Some of the bosses are really, really, really hard. So it'll be fine. I'm sure, like, whatever the final boss in Wolong is, it's going to challenge the shit out of me. So we'll see. And you may hire. See why for the stream for Turner. We reached the epilogue right as class started, so good timing. Really enjoyed this playthrough. The story was a little silly. Oh, I just read that one. Sorry. You have a good rest of your day. Um, reverse Uno card. Rest a while and have a lovely evening. You may hire. Good luck on the rest of your classes today. By the way, are you aware that the Barbarities author quote retweeted your last book haul? Yeah. I liked and retweeted that. I was so happy. <laughs> that was so sweet. We've had oh, so many nice moments. The author of Fada Morgana quote, re no, they retweeted one of my things and then commented on my playthrough. Um, They retweeted the moment where I just talked about having enjoyed the story and how much it was blowing my mind. And then they quote retweeted when I was going live and was like, oh, I'm surprised someone in Niji Sarji is playing this surprised they were able to get up to door five and still be going and they were like really nice about my playthrough that was so nice so yeah it's been a really nice couple of weeks they've been watching you i i don't think they've been fully watching me i think they've just been like catching bits and pieces but it's really nice that they said that because i mean father morgana is so incredible barbarities i haven't read yet <laughs> i've bought it but i haven't read yet so maybe i need to focus on that one next so many people have told me that's amazing but yeah, to have two like incredible creators, one whose work I am freaking idolizing at this moment and loving every second of, and the other who I know is a freaking legend because everybody, like even though I'd never heard of Barbarities, I literally, I liked the cover because it was like two men in like classic old school things. And I was like, are they? And then I read the back cover and it was like, the ones interested in the other and I was like they are and so I bought it without knowing anything about it and so many people like commented on that post and were like barbarities based that's one of my favorite things and I was like oh shit let's fucking go that's gonna be a good one to read but I still haven't read it yet <laughs> so yeah that'll be a fun time <laughs> are they yeah you always have that moment right like it happens too much in like sports anime and shonen anime as well on manga and like light novels but you see a cover where it's like, are they? And you turn it around and it's like, oh, they're just rivals. They're just friends. It's like, oh, okay. That's fine, I guess. <laughs> it's really nice when you get to a moment where you're like, are they? You turn it around and it's like, yeah, <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> the sports anime, yeah, where they always have like heated rivalries. Mm hmm indeed <laughs> i found a lot of japanese bl the last time i went to the bookstore i found like yes ka no ka hanbun ka uh, i don't remember the true like in there i think it's yes no maybe or yes no or something half but yeah i i'd like watched the anime adaptation of that one but i'd never read the light novel so i'm gonna try that one too 
They also had The Stranger by the Seaside, but I didn't like that one as much. Um, I've never tried the manga though, so maybe I will try the manga eventually. But I watched the anime adaptation of that and it was a bit too youthful for me. Because like they, I mean, they're quite literally teenagers, but there's also the fact that they act a bit teenage, like they snap at each other quite a bit and it's like a bit too drama based for me. But maybe I'll give the, tr uh, the manga a try because I know it goes like way further than that. I want, <laughs> like, I don't know if they haven't officially translated it or I just haven't found it yet. But I really want the manga adaptation of Doc Yusei and the sequels to it, which continue on that storyline. Dang, that's still probably my favorite, like, Japanese BL movie. Uh, Doc Yusei Classmates. It's done so well. The animation is so simplistic, but the color palettes and art style is so good. It's so slow paced, slow burn. It's great. But yeah, if I ever find the manga of that, I'll be grabbing it whenever I can. Anyway, enough about BL. <laughs> There's been a BL like renaissance in Niji Sanji Yen recently. Like, I've noticed suddenly Alira's talking about it all the time and Meliko's like been like doing streams about it recently. It's been like, ah, damn. Everybody's like suddenly talking about BL. I guess it's because we're entering springtime. It's the springtime of everybody's youth. <laughs> okay, Ren lost set. Atsufucha, the ending was really something. Didn't expect the cliffhanger. Jody really deserves happiness. Yes, she does. She didn't even ever get a childhood. She deserves to just be left alone and relaxed, but I mean, even no matter what ending it is, she always gets dragged back in because people are fucking stupid and keep opening up damn portals. Fun ride overall. Thank you for playing. Have a good rest of the day, Fuchan, Doggo, and every bar. Thank you so much, Ren Lassa. I hope you have a wonderful evening too. Thank you for donating the food funds and have a wonderful evening. Melo had a fugia for reading me out. Yeah, that shit was fucking hilarious to me. I saw she showed up to Sunny's birthday with that and was just like, what's my Fugi? Oh no, sorry. And like tried to hide it. Um, Apple Spider, Otsufu-chan. I'll probably be mostly VOD gang for this week or two. I'm glad I was able to see you live today to enjoy this game with you. Let's go. I hope you did enjoy it. I had a great time. Uh, hope you and the confidants have a wonderful day. Bye you. Thank you, Apple Spider. I hope you have a wonderful day too. Please rest well. Have a lovely evening and thank you for joining us. Gotta head out. Happy to enjoy the stream with you, Fuchan. Have a funny end. Yeah, that was a funny ending. It was an interesting time. Thank you for joining us, Strawberry Mochi. The Mellow BL Fugi was amazing. It was great, honestly. In the end, she couldn't live an actual life at all. She had to go and start again with saving the world. Yeah. She just got drawn back in as much as she tried to keep continuous to get out. Susuri, thank you so much for donating the food funds. No message, just a smiley face. A very simple smiley face. <laughs> a scary one, I'm not gonna lie. It's the open mouth one that always terrifies me. It feels like there's something more there. But thank you for donating the food fun, Susuri. I hope you enjoyed the stream today. Please rest well, have a lovely evening, and take it easy. Did I read this one? I didn't yet. Kinaria, Otsufu-chan. I was dozing off during the game, so I'll probably watch it again later. I hope you had a fun time and have a great day. Thank you, I had a wonderful time. Yeah. Definitely a lot to talk about when it comes to it, but just in general, a fun time. Worth the playthrough, 100%. That one, yes indeed, Kyanma. Thank you so much for donating the food funds, Canaria. I hope you have a wonderful evening and please do rest well. And finally, Ray, up. Oh, don't read. Ah. Oh, congratulations. Ray, Ray, thank you so much for donating the food funds. That's so sweet of you. Big donation too as well, so thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Please rest well. Enjoy the rest of your night and do take it easy. I'm glad to hear that as well. <laughs> like both. I'm glad to hear how it normally is and how it was tonight. So please do rest well and have a lovely time. Um, Ren Five. Like to recommend Ozaki Minami's Something I to Fuchan. It's a wonderful BL. Never heard of this one. Do, do, do. Zetsui? Almost operatic plot. Oh, God. An interesting art style. Oh, that's a nice art style. That's so classic. Wait, when did this come out? In the 80s? Oh, wow. No wonder. I was like, this art style is old school. God damn. Full on Yaoi as well, not just BL. Okay, I'm interested. 
I'll have a look. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds, Ren5. HK, my presentation partner is MIA and it's an hour. Oh, is that just, oh, that's just a face. <laughs> and it's in an hour. Rambling is really grounding me, so thank you. Don't underestimate your comforting presence. Oh, that's really sweet. Thank you. I hope your partner shows up. That sounds stressful AF. God, I would hate to be left alone doing a presentation by myself. So I hope they show up. HK, thank you so much for donating the food funds. I'm glad the rambling is helping you, even though, yeah, it's not much. I'm glad. <laughs> thank you for being here. Rest well and have a lovely evening. And yeah, good luck on the presentation. I'm sure even if you do have to do it alone, you'll be fine. But yeah, hopefully they'll actually show up and not mess around too much more because that's annoying as hell. And Stella, good night, Fuchan. Good night, Stella. Thank you so much for donating the food funds. Have a good evening. Rest well. And thank you for being here with us. I don't like partners like that on a presentation. I hated group presentations. <laughs> Anything where you had to work with somebody else, it always felt like a trap. Oh, it was so annoying to have to like choose someone and then <sighs> having to actually do the work like screw that shit. <laughs> I, I was normally the one who didn't show up. I'm not going to lie. I know that makes me a bad person, <laughs> but I'd just be like, ah, it's fine. I can take a miss on this. My grades are good enough elsewhere and I hate people. <laughs> so <laughs> I'd either do it by myself or just, you know, not show up. <laughs> Sorry, I'm terrible. <laughs> Etheria was planning on listening to the stream while dozing off sleeping. Ended up watching the game until the end. Yo, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Please have a wonderful night now then. Yeah, do go to sleep. Rest well. Take it easy and have a good time. Thank you for donating the food funds and have a lovely night. I'm glad you enjoyed the game and stayed awake throughout the entire thing. I would just tell them no thanks and do it on my own. <laughs> That's what I tried to do. <laughs> Teachers don't like that generally. Ugh. Would hate you as a project partner. Good. I would hate you as a project partner too. I'm just going to say it. I didn't want a project partner. <laughs> when they tried to partner me up with people, that was a problem. That was a problem. <laughs> they don't, but they can suck it. What? God damn. Worked for me. Not going to lie. I did it several times asking to do it alone. Yo, you got lucky. Your teachers understood. Someone who hasn't been in uni for two whole trimesters now. I'm so sorry for anyone who's gotten paired with me. <laughs> oh, God. Damn. Surely if you haven't shown up for that long, they wouldn't be pairing people up with you. <laughs> when I was in school, we had to write about how our group work went in a specific book as well as doing the project. Ugh. That would piss me off, too. You have to do homework about the homework? Oh, crap, man. Your via teacher is watching your stream right now. Bombastic eyes. Look, teachers should understand introverts and antisocial people and people with anxiety. <laughs> so that's on them. If it's a class that doesn't require that kind of thing, don't force it on people, man. You, uh, you should try to encourage people to, yeah, make good relationships and everything. But the simple fact is there are some people who j just doesn't work that way. And you're just setting them up for pain and suffering. Uh, anyway, that's where we're going to end this stream. <laughs> on that lovely note thank you all for being here i hope you enjoyed the stream today i had a wonderful time um i will have a schedule out tonight no matter what at some point <sighs> hopefully it will have everything on it if nothing else it'll be a schedule up until thursday <laughs> thank you guys so much for joining me we'll be back tomorrow yeah let's let's lock it in on the fact that we're gonna do house and father morgana tomorrow we'll do house and father morgana tomorrow We'll do the decorating my room the day after so you guys will have like a day more to prepare for that as well to get some ideas of like references and things you want in the new room that should be good okay thank you all for joining me as always do not be led astray my confidants and i will catch you guys next time and as usual on the way out i'd like to say a special thank you to everybody who joined the membership today. <laughs> everybody. <laughs> no, sorry. I'm seeing some of the comments like about the fact that the schedule still doesn't exist. It, it will. It will. Hopefully. <laughs> um, everybody who joined the membership, everybody who has rejoined the membership, and everybody who donated a membership, including Heidi. La vie. thank you so much for the five gifted membership. 
And Maru Maru, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. Apple Spider, Maureen, Universe, Out of Character, Stella, A.H., Rin Yu, Fruit Knife, Alda, thank you so much for the 10 gifted membership before the stream even started. Skylar Skylight, Luthier, thank you so much for the gifted membership. Oala, Rai E, Girarakil, Oh, one year anniversary, let's go. Terry B, J, Roji, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. Nay or Ni? Nay or Ni, sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Lim, Sora Chan, thank you so much for the gifted membership. Iwa, MT, Card B, Card B, Nerure, Apple, Jessica Lee, Stephanie Wiljaya, Shwezi, Jocelyn, Ollie, Shimomi, thank you so much for the gifted membership. Alpha Ketchy, Jenin, and finally HK. Oh, we didn't have many today. That's awesome. Because I am surprisingly tired. <laughs> I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much for being here, my confidants. Let me see something real quick. Oh, there's nobody streaming right now. Wow. <laughs> Crap. Oh, there's anybody. The Last of Us Part 1. Um, sure. When does that start? 6 p.m.? Rosamie, why are you going so late? Oh. Okay, I can't redirect you guys to anyone. I'm sorry. I hope you all have a wonderful evening, though. Oh my god. Kim Yun Nguyen Chung. Thank you so much for donating a membership to the sheep pile. Everybody have a wonderful evening. Do not be led astray in my confidence. And as always, I will catch you guys next time.